Tomcats this week have moved up a notch in the RPI ratings. They're up to number six now. Round County falls down to number 37 in uh, Class 4A. Well, we have the uh, Tomcat Marching Band out in front of us, and we'll have the playing of our national anthem. Our national anthem has performed to the Ashland Tomcat uh, Marching Band under our director, Doss. And uh, it's good to have them out in full uniform here tonight. It's a beautiful night for football. Our game time temperature is uh, hovering around 72 degrees. Not uh, No clouds in sight anyway, or rain clouds anyway. So hopefully we're going to be just off game. Well, before we go any further, I've got to tell you and catch up on other fall sports. The boys' soccer team is now 8-5. and five. They have won six in a row under Coach uh, uh, Preston Freeman. They'll play tomorrow morning, by the way, against Lucasville Valley at the uh, Sloan Loman Soccer Field at 11 o'clock. Our girls soccer team stands at 13-3. and three. They're having an outstanding uh, season under Coach Cook. They'll play Saturday at Bluegrass United, a homeschool team down in Woodford County. And our volleyball team, uh, another outstanding year under first-year Coach Clark. They stand at 20 and 7 on the season. They're having a good year. So our fall sports are doing well. And, of course, the Tomcats, football-wise, are undefeated at 6-0. I want to say a special hello tonight to uh, Pickle, my dear friend Greg Picklesheimer. He and his family are out at Greenbow Lake Campground camping out this evening. They're listening. And uh, Luke Mays, who is, of course, he's like our – what did Coach Mays call him? He was not our head coach. He was like our – what did the what the title did he? I'll have to remember what Coach Mays told me. Uh, he's like our junior head coach or something like that. Anyway, Luke's out there with his family, Paige and Fanny. We miss you here at Putnam Stadium, but you're having a good time out on the campgrounds. Also, want to say a special hello to Mark Maynard listening tonight in Northern Kentucky. His grandson was uh, playing at school, and Mark called me the other night and told me that he uh, fell off the monkey bars and broke his arm. So we hope he gets uh, better. Uh, Jack Stone, one of our loyal uh, fans, listening as well. And uh, Mark Swift is continuing to uh, improve in his rehab from the stroke he suffered. It'll be four weeks, I believe, tomorrow. And uh, Mark continues to improve and get better. So that's the way things are. Uh, and we've got all that taken care of. Well, tonight's game, Ashland and Round County, doesn't look like much on paper, Charlie, but uh, that's why they don't play it on paper. That's why we play it out here on the gridiron. Yeah, you never know. You know, a break here and a break there, and all of a sudden it's a close game. Yeah. And, uh, but one thing I did want to mention real quickly, and we don't talk about it enough, Ashland is averaging 10 yards per carry on the ground Jeez. while holding their opponents to three. Golly, that's and amazing. And in total yardage, they're averaging ten and a half yards per play oh while holding their opponents to less than five. That's amazing. It is. Absolutely it is. amazing. It is. And I was going to talk about the Tomcats average 47 points a game, which is tops in the state. Round County come in and averaging 14. The Tomcats are giving up like 16 points a game. Round County's giving up almost 29. I mean, we're over the last uh, two or three games, we have been right at that 500-yard total offense. And this team is, they're clicking. Well, and you know, can you imagine? I can't. But can someone 
far brighter than us. I imagine <laughs> this team will be when Strader comes back. Exactly. Because they're waiting on him. Oh, yeah. And he's here tonight, and he's continuing his rehab. He's not going to play this week. Don't expect him to play next week. Uh, and then we have an open week, and then we go to Johnson Central. Uh, be nice to have him there. Hope is he'll be back for the Johnson Central game. Uh, that's what we're hoping for. But this Tomcat offense, I mean, and I know C Coach Tackett, as we talk in pre-games and post-games, you know, he's a de defensive specialist, and he wants to – he doesn't want to give up any points. Right. <laughs> but you're going to give up a few. Uh, but if you look back at that 2020 team, they gave up less than six points a game. And I think that's what he's striving for this team to do. Well, I'll tell you what. Ashland can win a lot of games if they hold every one of their opponents to 16 points or less. <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree. Because I don't think anybody can keep us from not scoring. I mean, even Raceland, who's got a, yeah. a good football team, we scored 28. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody can keep us out of the end zone regularly in the course of a game. Uh, I, I think we're I think we're 28 points against good defenses. Uh -huh. I, I agree with you. Because Raceland's a good defense. Yes, team. they are. And they, what they did to Pikeville. Yeah, and they're, they're rolling right along, so. Uh, and our congratulations to Mike Salmon and his crew. He's down in one of my favorite places to go, <laughs> Hazard tonight. I thought, I thought Harlan was your most favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he's in Hazard tonight. There you go. Well, the uh, president of the Pilot Point Texas Tomcat alumni group, Keith Sires, just uh, texted me, and he says everybody in North Texas is listening and uh, tonight. So it's good to have North Texas listening tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, but uh, whatever. Sounds good. <laughs> it sounds good. Uh, it is JFL night. We told you the Tomcat uh, cheerleaders are with the uh, JFL cheerle cheerleaders out here in front of us. They've done a couple of cheers, and I guess they will probably do the fight song or something like that. Remember and then, when your granddaughter a few years back was yes, one of these. That's exactly right. And then... <laughs> The Tomcat J or the uh, JFL little players uh, from uh, kindergarten on up uh, are making a tunnel for the Tomcats to run through at the uh, closed end of the stadium. So uh, that's our JFL procedure here tonight. Round County is still in the uh, dressing room, as are the Tomcats, but the Tomcats will make their Tomcat walk out behind us here on Elm Street and go up and come in and come down the steps. So that's the way it's going to be. Uh, we'll catch up on scores tonight. Doc Stottlemyre had a previous engagement, so I'll have to do the best I can. But Ironton is leading Rock Hill early in that game, 7 to nothing. Hi, Mary Lee. How are you? And uh, we've got East Carter and Bath County playing tonight. Fairview is at home against Nicholas County. Here's a good one for you. Johnson Central and Corbin, two big 4A teams that are awfully good, both of them. Racing, we told you, is at Hazard. Russell's playing at West Carter, so we'll try and keep you uh, abreast of all the uh, scores here tonight from uh, Putnam Stadium. Well, that'll do it for our uh, Tomcat uh, countdown presented by your local McDonald's. I'm loving it. We'll come back and get the kickoff, have the flip of the coin, get the kickoff. All that's coming up here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Clark's Pump and Shop and the Clark family have proudly served your family since 1976. Clark's Pump and Shop and the John W. Clark Oil Company has a goal to give back to the community in appreciation for your support. Clark Family Charities invest in various civic projects to benefit the area and also provide scholarships to local students with the Clark Family Scholarship and the Rodney Clark Memorial Scholarship. The Clark family is honored to invest in our future and is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. Return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pump and Job. KFB The Better Bank has been making local decisions since 1931, creating strong roots in Northeast Kentucky and surrounding areas. Your community is our community. Let us help you in all current and future financial endeavors. From your first bank account to your dream home to retirement planning, we've got you covered. Local banking, local decisions, stronger community. Visit kfb.bank today to see what KFB can do for you. KFB. Welcome back, everybody. We've had the flip of the coin. We're around County won the flip of the coin and decided to take the football rather than defer to the second half. So they're going to try and uh, test the Tomcat defense right off the bat as the Vikings at one and four and losers of two in a row take on the undefeated uh, Tomcats who come in at six and oh. The, uh, it is JFL night here at uh, Putnam Stadium as they've made a big tunnel 
It goes clear from the end line on the end zone, clear out near the 50-yard line. So we got a lot of JFL cheerleaders, a lot of JFL players out there, and they're enjoying being uh, involved in the uh, Tomcat introduction as the uh, Tomcats await as they start. Uh, they'll start down the steps here in uh, just a minute. Tomcat corporate sponsors this year supporting all Tomcat athletics at all levels include Van R Properties, Ashland Credit Union, UK King's Daughters Medical Centers, Members' Choice Credit Union, Premier Physical Therapy, Lewis Family Care, Brace Yourself Orthodontics, and People's Bank. Well, this is our next to last home game, regular season home game. We hope to have several uh, playoff games here at home, but uh, we hit the road for uh, two more. Next week we're out of Boyd County at... Uh, Tom, well, I don't think they call it Tom Scott Field anymore. No, they probably so. should, but not my uh, not my decision. At Lions Stadium, and we'll be uh, against Boyd County. Then a week off, and then the Tomcats will uh, travel to Johnson Central down to Paintsville to take on the Golden Eagles in what could be the district championship. Our final home game comes on October 27th here at home, senior night, against the Pioneers from Simon Kenton. And that's a big boy school. Uh, yeah, 6A. And uh, they wanted to play, so we decided, sure, we'll play. I mean, if we're going to go to Bardstown, we'll play about anybody. Sure. I'll tell you that. That's a trip. Uh, it's a trip. We've been to Bardstown, E-Town. Uh, we haven't gone to Murray. No, no. But that, <laughs> we did in basketball a few years ago. Jason Mays took us all the way to Marshall County where we played. Well, the Tomcats make their appearance. And... Uh, they come through the big tunnel by their JFL players, or made by the players and cheerleaders, and we'll get ready to play a little football. So Round County will get the football first. They have an assortment of quarterbacks this year. Norton, Matthew, Hamilton, and Watson. Uh, Norton and Hamilton play the most, but from time These to time you will see Watson. Round County didn't bring enough fans to start a fight. Would you say 50? I'd say that's fair. Uh, is that fair? Yeah. Cheer, their cheerleaders are here, but I don't think they they don't have much over 50 if they've got 50. Tomcats in all maroon tonight with white trim and uh, numerals and white headgears. Round County in white jerseys with green pants, black trim, and green numerals and green headgears. So that's the way we'll start the first quarter. Our officials tonight, officials, referees, referees are... Let me give them to you real quick. Quick, Justin Royster, Jared Adkins, David Fields, Adam Elkins, and Justin Middleton. Thank you, Chuck. Fine men, each and every one. Oh, of, of course. And we were right on that uh, roughing the punter last it week. It wasn't a penalty. It was. It's not a penalty. No. After. After he moves out of the pocket. Exactly. And he then grabbed the ball. And Coach Tackett showed me this last night. He, the ball went over his head. Obviously, right. he runs back. He touches it at the one-yard line, and it fumbles it into the end zone, uh -huh. takes three steps, and then punts. Well, he's fair game. Game over <laughs> yeah. at that point. Yeah, he's I fair agree. Game. Yeah, I agree. All right, we got a new kicker for the Tomcats tonight. It's going to be Joseph Keener, a senior who's been uh, injured a little bit, had a little bit of a leg problem. He's going to kick it off. Cats going left to right in single safety for... Round County is Watson. He pops it up. It's going to bounce, bounce, bounce around. Still bouncing. Watson will pick it up at the 20. Comes up the sideline across the 25, and Duckweiler runs him out of bounds. Uh, just shy, maybe, of the 25-yard line. And that's where Round County will start. Actually, Houston kicked. I thought it was uh, Keener. No, it was Houston. Was it Houston? Yes, My sir. mistake. Okay. I thought it's on an 82. There's 82. Oh, well. Here we go. Round County will start first and 10 at about their, well, let's see, 27 yard lines, where they'll put it. Football to near hash mark. Full three point line for the line. Uh, Tom Catch. You got uh, DeBoard and Rogers and Billups for the Cats as the quarterback on this particular series will be Norton. We've got a wing T formation. A wing man on the right side is Richardson. In the backfield is number six, Hamilton. Hamilton will get the call around the right side. Gets a few yards up near the 28, maybe the 29-yard line. Comes Jackson Hamilton for Round County. Round County plays a wing T offense, which tells you that they will run the football a lot. Gain of a couple will be second and eight for Round. 
just shy of their 29-yard line. The football moved over to the far hash mark. Norton goes to the sideline to get the play from Coach Kelly Ford and heads back out. A lot of speed on the corners for yeah, Ashley. Yeah, lots of speed. You've got Lyons and Sexton and uh, Jennings from time to time. And uh, then, of course, inside Nichols and Edens, Cam Davis and Ashby as well. All right, Norton is in the shotgun this time around and not the wing tee. He has a pistol formation as he takes a long, long count. Play clock down to five. He'll take it, flip it out to the near side, trying to turn the corner is uh, Richardson. He'll get across the 30 up near the 33-34 yard line. And a short gain again for Round County. Beg your pardon, that was Ty Lowe who carried the football, my mistake. Brings up third down about four. Their first attempt at a third down conversion. So Round County abandoned the wing tee on that particular play and went to a more modern look as with wide outs up to the top side you got Owen Richardson is going to be your slot man on the right Norton in the backfield again in the uh, almost pistol formation Matthew Hamilton or Jackson Hamilton back there with him throws it over on the far side ball is caught and glinching for the first down is Owen I think he got it across the 37 38 yard line Norton Owen went way up there to get that one and they're going to give him that first down on a gain of five First and 10 for Round County now as they move the football up to their own 38-yard line. So the Vikings convert on third down. Football at the far hash mark. Owen goes wide right to short side of the field. Again, Norton in the backfield. Richardson is your wingman on the right. And again in the backfield is Jackson Hamilton. Norton takes a lot of time. He waits that play clock, gets down to about five before he takes the snap. He'll give it. And straight up the middle, and now bouncing outside. Nice run by Hamilton. He made something out of nothing. Brings it across the 40, up near the 41-42 yard line. He was going straight up the gut, and bounced it outside. Manages to pick up four. Diggy, that's how you uh, shorten the game. Yeah, and that's exactly what Round County wants to do. They're staying in the huddle as long as they can. They don't want to give the Tomcat offense any more plays than they need to. Second and six for Round. Norton in the shotgun again. Owens, your wide out right, short side. Richardson is the wingman. It's Hamilton in the backfield with him. Again, he waits to the play clock, gets down under 10, and still clicking as it gets down to 7 to 6. They're taking their time. Give it to Hamilton around that right side again. Now, Norton, I beg your pardon, he took it right out of the hands of Hamilton. Norton did and has to eat it. Back inside the 35 at the 34, and it was Tucker Rogers that got him. I thought uh, Mr. Uh, Hamilton had the ball, and he took it right out of his gut and a big loss back to the 36 on a loss of six. Third down for Round County. They're one of one in third down conversions, but they're playing behind the chains. They have a third and about 12 at their 36-yard line. Clock rolling at 820. Round County, as Charlie told you, trying to shorten the game. They're taking almost every bit of that 40 seconds you get between plays. The play clock down now to five. And Norton still hadn't taken the snap. Down to two at one. He'll take it. He looks to throw across the middle. Passes knocked down beautifully wow. by Sammy Lyons. He knocked it right out of the hands of Birchfield. Good job by Sam Lyons. Secondary's getting better. It's fourth down for Round County in a punting situation. And now we have a flag, I beg your pardon. And I didn't see the flag, so that might be enough to give him a first down. What, it's it's what against it Ashley. Maybe roughing the passer or something? I don't know. It's going to be a big gainer. It'll wow. go from the 40, 45. They're still marking it off. That will get it up to midfield. Now to give Round County a first down. I don't know what the penalty was all about. Take it to the Ashland 49. It couldn't have been pass interference. Nope. And no sign from the official, but that will give them a first down. You know, when they're not proud of it, they don't tell you what it is. <laughs> there you go. So Round County crosses the 50 via the uh, penalty against the Tomcats. I presume it was a personal foul of some sort. That's what I'm going to call it. First penalty of night against the Cats. Norton in the shotgun. Wide out to the right side. This time he is going to give it to Hamilton around the right side. He got maybe a yard to the 48-yard line. Well, so far, Round County's uh, strategy is working. They're keeping the football out of the hands of the Tomcats. We played uh, nearly five minutes, 
And Ashland was yet to touch it. Second and nine for round at the Ashland 48. They're taking every last second in that uh, 40 seconds you get between plays. Wide to the near side. Now comes Owen as Birchfield goes to the right. In the shotgun formation is Norton. He's just standing. He's waiting for the play clock to get down under 10, which it is now. Now down to six to five. He's going to give it straight up the middle. There's Hamilton again. Doesn't get much. Couple of yards to Tomcat 46. <coughs> third down for round. But they're two of two in third down conversions. All on this drive. And they're in that position now where they're going to head and use four plays. Oh, yeah. Third down and seven for round at the Ashland 46. Inside seven minutes to go in the first quarter, and the Tomcats have yet to touch it. Football in the middle of the field is a Vikings break huddle. It'll be Owen to the right side with Richardson. Norton in the uh, shotgun formation. He's got Hamilton back there with him. And a blocker in Pelfrey, who wears number 50. Norton, he's going to give it. There's a the reverse. He's going to give it to Richardson. He's got a flag. He gets it to first down inside the 40 to about the 39, 38. And we have a flag back upfield as Mr. Richardson's helmet comes off. <clears throat> Holding against Round County is the call. Saw that one. Did you? Yes, sir. So that will nullify a first down pickup by Richardson on the reverse. It got him down to the 30, Ashland 38. Point of infraction about the 47 of Ashland. That will take it back across the 50 and brings up third down all over again. But... Now you're playing again behind the change back to the Tomcat 42 where it is third down and about uh, 18. Had they not have called it, I would have. <laughs> we don't have any flags. That's all right. I'd make one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, make, we'll get something. Third down about 18 for Round County at the at their 42 now. Clock, uh, the uh, game clock down to 610. We haven't touched the ball yet. We usually have a score or two by now. Norton in the shotgun formation. There's his flag. Nope, it's a whistle from the official. And I think Round County's going to call a timeout. Nope, one official's coming over to talk to the referee, Royster. I don't see a flag, so it couldn't be that. And now Mr. Royster's going to come over and talk to the umpire, whoever that is. And they're going to put the football at the 44 instead of the 42. How do you get positive yards? <laughs> Out of a 10-yard penalty. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Norton in the shotgun. Third down, about 17 now. They gained about a yard out of it. Here's Norton to throw. He's a rolling right. There's Nichols after him. Throws it up for grabs, and that one's way over the head of everybody. And incomplete. He tried to hit uh, Watson or Drake over there on that far side. That penalty put them where I think they got a punt, don't you? Yeah, no question. Well, they took half the first quarter. Yeah, more than that. We're at 551. Drake is your punter, and he will line up on fourth and about 17. He's 44. Cam Davis in single safety, standing back at his 25. <clears throat> clock is stopped at 551. Play clock down to 12. Doesn't matter how they snap it now because the game clock is stopped. Drake awaits a snap. It's a good one. Here comes a rush. High, but not very long. Cam Davis will fair catch it at his own 25. Fumbles the ball that falls on it. Or did he? Maybe Round County has it. Nope. Ashland football. Cam Davis fumbled that football. He sure did. Well, he didn't mean to. <laughs> so the Tomcats will take over. And with 542, the Tomcats offense hits the field for the first time tonight in the first quarter. No score. First and ten for the Cats. He'll spot it right at the 25. That one went right through the little hands of Davis, who fell right back on it. Marushi is your center. You've got Alley and Frame at the guards and Hicks and Christian at the tackles. That great offensive line we've been blessed with. Davis, Jennings, and Atkins come wide to the right. Tay Thomas in the backfield with the quarterback, Brandon Houston. Wide to the left side goes Duckweiler. Houston's going to give it. There goes Tay, and there he goes. He's across the 30, up near the 33-yard line. Comes Tay Thomas. Coming one off his, one of his best efforts, gained uh, over 100 yards last week. And Tay will bring it from the 25 up to the 32 and a gain of seven. Second down and three. Big hole. Gosh. Yes. 
Big enough to drive a truck through. Tomcats no huddle. And Houston, twin wideouts each side. He's going to throw to the near side. Had Adkins a little bit high. Adkins touch it. Probably should have brought it in, but it's going to go incomplete. Third down for the Cats. Their first attempt at a third down conversion tonight. Third down and three at their own 32-yard line. Clock stop at 5-12 to go in the first. Nate Frazier tied in on the left side. Adkins and Duckweiler will come wide right along with uh, Jennings. The wide side of the field, Tay Thomas in the shotgun f- formation beside Houston, who will take the snap. Round County in a 4-4, gave it to Tay, straight up the gut, big hole, 35-40, busts outside, and there he goes. Gone. He's at the 50, 40, 30, cuts back inside the 20, and down to the 15-yard line goes Tay Thomas. <laughs> it doesn't take us long to get moving. Not a whole lot of time. About a 53-yard run there for Mr. Uh, Tay Thomas, and the Tomcats have it in the red zone. First and 10 for Ashland at the Round County 15-yard lines where they spot the football. Ashby's in the backfield with Jennings and Houston in the shotgun, each on the side of Mr. Houston. Duckweiler wide out. Give it to Braxton. There he goes. Hurdles a man. Maybe got a yard to about the 14-yard line. Maybe got a yard. And he's not happy about it. Nope. No gain on the play. We'll call it second and ten for the Tomcats now. They're 15. Four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Ashland leads it. Or Ashland trying to lead it. It's nothing, nothing. Round County eight better than half the quarter up. Keeping it on the ground. Wide right go, or to the left goes Jennings and Freeze and Adkins to the near side. Duckweiler. Ashby in the give it on the screen. Give it to Nate Freeze. There he goes. He's got three, maybe four down near the 11 yard line. Tight end screen to Nate Freeze. Takes it down to about the 11, maybe, and a gain of about four. It'll be third down and six. Last week, Brandon Houston went nine for 10. Tomcats, no huddle offense. Ashby and Jennings in the backfield with Houston in the shotgun. Twin wide outs right to give it to Braxton. Cuts up inside to the 5-2-1 touchdown Tomcat. Braxton Jennings goes in from 11 yards out. And with 3.40 to go here in the first quarter, the Tomcats first to get on the board. Jennings with the 11-yard run. For Braxton, his 10th touchdown of the year. In to try the extra point is Jake Sexton. Houston to hold. Asher Adkins to snap it. Waits a snap, a good one, and Jake puts it right inside the right upright. So with 3.40 left to go here in the first, it's Ashland 7, Round County 0 on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Hey, Tomcat fans, it's football season again, and that means fall is right around the bend. Ashland Milling Company has all the great products to help you with your lawn this fall. Falcon fescue grass, fertilizer, and lime. Be the envy of your neighborhood with a beautiful lawn. Give them a call or stop by at 110 Ninth Street, Ashland. Ashland Milling Company would like to say thanks to the Tri-State area for your support for over 100 years. Ashland Milling Company says, Go Tomcats! Giovanni's Downtown Ashland and the Creative Cow are avid supporters of the Tomcats. Yes, pizza, ice cream and waffles, and milkshakes. Stop by before or after the game for daily specials. Giovanni's Downtown Ashland party specials. Pick two or four, always on special. And our family meal is always only $19.99. Stop by the Creative Cow, featuring ice cream and waffles and now milkshakes. Next door to Giovanni's, 724 Greenup Avenue. Get the app, giovannis.hungerrush.com and order online. Go Tomcats. Now back to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 at 13.40. Keener tees it up, but Brandon Houston will kick it. Squip kick, bounce around, football loose. It's loose. Round County got it at the 38. They fumbled it about the 33-yard line, but there to recover for Round County was Cameron Cross. And Round County will start with pretty good field position at their own 38, but trailing at 7 to nothing after the 75-yard Six play drive with Jennings getting the touchdown and Sexton the extra point and took the Tomcats only two minutes to score while Round County took over six minutes in their first series and weren't uh, able to push it in. All right, wide to the right side goes Owen. We got a new quarterback at, nope, 
It's Norton. He's going to go up under center now in the true wing T formation. Norton will go up under center. He'll give it to Hamilton off the right mm-hmm. side, and there's nothing there for him. Barely gets back to the line of scrimmage as Hamilton. He's still, he, something's still, still happening. Fighting. Maybe got a yard, but if they stretch it. That would be generous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll give him one. Okay. Second and nine for round at their own 39-yard line. They went to the true wing tee formation with the quarterback up under center and wingman on the left and the right and one man in the backfield. Out goes Pelfrey, who's a lineman who plays in the backfield to help block. Okay, Birchfield is a wide out left, and now we got two wide outs right, and they abandon the uh, wing tee and go back to the shotgun. Richardson, wingman right. Here's Norton looking to throw across the middle, and it's incomplete. Throws it too low at the 45, intended for Hamilton. Norton hit his first pass. He's now 0 for 3, so that makes him 1 of 4 for 5 yards. Third down for round. Good pressure by Ashley. Good up front pressure. you got Billups in there, Rogers, and Nate Mills. Nope. Cole Christian playing the nose tonight for a little bit. Even a little defensive uh, experience. Not that he needed it, but <laughs> why not? All right, two wide outs to the right. That's Drake and Owen. Norton in the shotgun on third and nine. He's rolling to his right. Here comes the pressure from Sexton. He's rolling. He throws it upfield. That one's up for grabs. Cam Davis goes after it. Can't came up. Can't come up with it, and it's incomplete. Good job by the Tomcats applying that pressure. And it was Jake Sexton from the outside linebacker. So Round County is going to have to punt it away. The first punt was by Drake of 31 yards that Cam Davis fumbled but fell on. And with 2.37 to go in the quarter, 7-0 Ashland, the Cats will get it back. It only took them two minutes before to score, so maybe we can get another quick score. Or maybe Cam can run this one back. That would be the more efficient (laughs) one. We've done that before. All right, Drake awaits the snap. Not much of a rush. He's going to get it high, not very long. Cam's going to let it hit at the 35, 30, 25, 20, still rolling down to about the 15, 16-yard line. And that's Cam Davis's fault. He should have called for a fair catch or, or try to run it back. He got a great roll out of that one, I'll tell you that. That ends up about a 46-yard punt there by Drake. We sure gave me advantage. So Ashland's got a lot of real estate. They're starting at their own 16-yard line, but leading at 7-0 with 2.25 to go in the first quarter. Brandon Houston will lead out his troops. Same front line of Marucci and Frame and Alley and Hicks and Christian. In the backfield now, you've got Maverick Ashby along with Jennings and Cam Davis. The Tomcats are in a pistol formation, one wide out to each side. Here's Houston, last man through. Here comes Ashby. He's got uh, some room across the 19 up near the 20-yard line. Good pickup. Tomcats with a no-huddle offense. Give him five on the play up across the 21-yard line. No-huddle offense for the Cats. They're not wasting any time at 2.05. Houston in the shotgun. Twin wide outs each side. He gives. Here comes Ashby again. He's outside the 25-30. Here he goes. Down the sideline at the 40-45 midfield breaking tackles at the 40-35 and run out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. The freshman Maverick Ashby. So much speed. Oh, God, they've got it. About a 47-yard run there by Maverick. They just need a seam, Dickie. Unfortunately, they're uh, for Round County, they're getting block, uh, city block gaps. Yes, I agree. Huge. Again, the no-huddle offense. Two in wide outs to both sides. In the backfield, Tay Thomas, he gets it off the right side. Bounces outside. 30, 25, breaking tackles inside the 20 to the 18-yard line goes Tay. That'll bring up another Tomcat first down. That'll take it down. And it'll take it back down into the red zone again where the Tomcats scored before. And it's first and ten for the Tomcats. At the round county 19, Houston to throw into the end zone. Wide open was Jennings, and he overthrew him incomplete. Braxton had him man beat badly. Stops the clock at 128 of the first quarter. Ashland leading 7-0, and 
knocking on the door on second and ten at the Round County 19-yard line. Houston would like to have that one back. Yes, he would. Jennings in the backfield with Davis. Houston in the shotgun. The tailback is Ashby in the shotgun. There he goes, big hole. 15 down to the 10 and squirms to about the 10-yard line. Goes Mac Ashby short of the first down by a yard. And it'll bring up third and short. Spotted about the 11. Got to go to about the 9. Say so throw it to Adkins on a cross. I like the slant on this one. Here's Houston. Looks for that slant. No, goes in the outside. And it's dropped by Cam Davis. A little out pattern at the 10. Davis can't come up with it. A little bit short of the mark. And now it's fourth down for the Tomcats. And obviously they'll go for it with 59 seconds to go. Leading 7-0. It'll be fourth and about two for the Cats at the 11 of Round County. Atkins goes wide left. Duckwild will come to the right. Ashby and Jennings in the shotgun with Houston on each side. Tight end is Freeze. Houston on fourth and short gives to Ashby. He's going to cut outside. He's not going to get there. Right, they wrap close. him up in the backfield. Good job by Round Counties. Number eight coming through there, Matthew Hamilton. And Ashby does not get the first down. The Tomcats give it up on downs. They get to the red zone and can't get any points out of it. That's not good. First and ten for Round County now. As they'll start deep in their own territory. They'll spot it right at the uh, 11 yard line. A little disappointing <coughs> for the Tomcats not to push that one in. First and ten for Round at their 11. Trailing 7 nothing with 53 seconds to go in the first quarter. Ashby was a little bit slow, I thought, hitting that hole. Just, yeah. just a and fraction the hole, of a the second. The hole was there. Yeah. Hit that hole a little quicker. He's got it. Norton in the shotgun. Wide out to the right is Owen. Richardson is the wingman right. Here is the give on the right side. That is Lowe who carries the football, and he doesn't get much. Maybe up near the 12, 13-yard line. I'm sorry, that's Judd, number 26, and not Lowe, 24. That will probably bring us to the last play of the first quarter. No, the play clock's down inside 20 or 30 now, and the other one's at 33. So no gain on the play on that one. We'll call it second and 10 for round at their own 11. Play clock down to 16 seconds. Game clock at 22. Again, one wide out. That's Owen to the right. Richardson wingman right. Norton in the shotgun. Play clock down to six at five. He waits. He's going to go short snap at the Pelfrey straight up the middle in the Wildcat, and he carries it up near the 15-yard line, and that will end the first quarter. It'll bring third down when we come back at the end of the first quarter of play. Ashland leads it 7-0 over Round County here on Cat Sports 93-3 and uh, 13-40. Well, here at historic uh, Putnam Stadium where Ashland leads at 7 nothing after a quarter because it's basically been keep away. Round County kick. Uh, we've only touched the ball twice. <coughs> drove it 75 yards for a score, and the other time we drove it, what, about 60 and weren't able to uh, score. So that's our own fault. Round County has a third and f uh, about six at their 15-yard line. Norton is the quarterback. He's going up under center now. He's got one wide out to each side. We've got a split backfield as Norton puts uh, Drake in motion. 
And Drake's going to throw it way downfield. That ball's up for grabs, and it's not caught by Owen at the 50-yard line. A little shocked there, there wasn't a uh, pushing foul. Real close, to, real close to being. Uh, I think that they're letting secondaries play a little, play a little more now. If you ask me, you might be right. At first quarter, Round County had 12 yards rushing and five passing. The Tomcats had four yards passing and 146 rushing. But only have seven points. They'll get it back. Cam Davis will stand at the Round County 40, and Drake will punt it again. Last time he got off a 46-yarder because Davis didn't field it and let it bounce, and it took a big bounce. Good snap. Here comes a rush. Not going to get it, and it's a dandy punt. Davis drives him back to midfield. He's going to go pick it up. Now he fumbles the ball. Round County's got it at the 45 of Ashley. Cam Davis having trouble tonight. He went to grab it and fumbled it, and Round County's got it on the Tomcat turnover. And believe it or not, that's Ashland's second turnover of the season. They only had one other turnover all year long, and that's only Ashland's second. So the Tomcats cough it up. And the officials are going to put it at the 44 of Ashland, where Round County will have it first and 10, 11.40 of the uh, second quarter. Oh, we have a flag over on the far side. No, it's a sideline warning. I beg your pardon. Well, it's still a flag, but now they put the football at the 43-yard line. Will it be first and 10 for round? So the Tomcats are not, uh, they're shooting themselves in the foot. They're their worst, own worst enemy. Round County sends Owen to the left side, the short side. <coughs> Norton in the shotgun. Pelfrey's the blocking back, and Hamilton is the up man. Here's Norton. He's going to give it to Hamilton around that short side, and they're going to run him out of bounds, maybe a yard gain. Stops the clock at 11.30 to go in the half. Ashland leading 7-0. Tomcats have only touched it twice and uh, have only one score to show for it. No gain on the play. We'll call it second and 10 for round. Just at their Tomcat 43 after the fumble by Davis. Had a hard time with fumble, with uh, punt returns tonight. Not normal for Cam Davis. Owen is your wide out left, and Richardson is your wingman left, the short side. Norton in the shotgun again. He'll take it. He's going to throw it down the far sideline. That one's up for grabs and uh, caught, or was he out of bounds? Nope, the official says he caught it. He went up over Jennings to catch it. That was Owen. He's got it inside the 20 at about the 18-yard line. You know, it's looking to me like, Dickie, that Ashland won too big last week, and they read yep. the paper too much hey, this week. Yeah, you got that right. 38 down to the 18, and a gain of about 20, 21 plays in a round county first down. And the Vikings are in the red zone for the first time tonight. Chad Tackett has seen enough. He's not a happy camper. 11-24 left to go here in the first half. It's Ashland 7, round county 0 on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Office Furniture USA wishes the best of luck to the Ashland Tomcats this season. Office Furniture USA has been serving Ashland area businesses for over 50 years to make sure your office is as up to date and as comfortable and inviting as your home. If you need new desks, chairs, and anything for your home away from home, your office, check out Office Furniture USA at 2781 Winchester Avenue or call 606-325-9119. Good luck to the Tomcats from Office Furniture USA, Winchester Avenue, Ashland. Tired of seeing those dings, dents, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 43 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says go Tomcats. This is Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. First and 10 at the Tomcat 19. Short snaps it to the up man Pelfrey who gets a yard to the 18. Second and 9 for Round County at the Tomcat 18-yard line. They're only trail by 7, knocking at the door. Wide left goes Owen. Richardson is the wingman left. Again, Norton goes up under center. Norton is going to roll it to his left, going to give it to Hamilton. He'll cut back to his right. He'll break a couple of tackles, running pretty hard down inside the 15, maybe the 13-yard line goes Hamilton. Not enough for the first down, but 
makes it manageable. It'll be third down for Round County. Inside the Tomcat 15, about the 13-yard line on a pickup of five. It'll be third down about four. Round two of four in third down conversions tonight, but they're in four down territory. They've got to go just inside the Ashland nine for the first down. 10-10 to go in the half. Ashland's lead is at 7-0. They've turned it over, and they've had another drive that just stalled out. Wide right comes Owen, the wide side of the field. Norton's in the shotgun now. And Coach Kelly Ford of Round County, he's going to burn a timeout. Didn't like the way things were setting up on third and four at the uh, Tomcat 13-yard line. So Round County will call a quick timeout. Ashton Tomcat football corporate sponsors supporting Tomcat athletics at all levels include Van Eyre Properties, Ashton Credit Union, UK King's Daughters Medical Centers, Members Choice Credit Union, Premier Physical Therapy, Lewis Family Care, Brace Yourself Orthodontics, and People's Bank. Well, we'll catch you up on some scores. Greenup County and Boyd County are tied at 14. Ironton leads Rock Hill 21-0. Huntington High blasting Riverside 28-0. And Johnson Central leads Corbin 6-0 in the second quarter. So that's the way we are. Brown County about to tie this one up. I would think they'd get at least three points out of them. I don't know what kind of kicker they got. But they're in... I would think pretty close to field goal territory. Norton has him out. He'll send Drake wide out to the right and Owen to the left. Norton in the shotgun formation. And back there to run it with him is low. Norton awaits a snap on third and four. Going to keep it himself. And he got nailed. That's Tay Thomas. He got him back at about the 14-yard line. Going to bring up fourth down for Round County. Their first try to fourth down conversion tonight. As he loses one, fourth down about five. Brown County hadn't been able to do much on the ground. They've picked up uh, about 17 yards. That's it. They run a ton more plays than the Tomcats. Ashland's run, uh, 13. what, 13 plays, and Round's got probably 20 or somewhere in that neighborhood. Fourth and five. Uh, 20, 23. Wide right is Owen. <laughs> Norton in the shotgun. Here's Norton to throw. Here comes the pressure. He's thrown it to the near side, way over the head of Owen, not even close, incomplete. So the Tomcat uh, Tom, uh, defense answers the bell, and Ashland again will start deep in their own territory. Their last drive started at their own 15. This one will start at about the 12, where Ashland will have it first and 10, leading 7 nothing. Lots of time, 9.08 to go here in the first half. We need to bust one right out of here right fast. Duck White will be your wide out to the right side. Tay Thomas in the backfield with Houston. Wide outs to the near side are Jennings and Atkins. Nate Freeze also going to come slot left. We got them outnumbered over here. We got them three to two. Somebody is going to be wide open. Looks like Nate Freeze. Nobody safety, guarding him. Got a safety going to pick him up. All right, here comes Tay Thomas. He's at the 20, 25, 30. Here he goes. Cuts back to his left at the 35 and up to the 37. Before he's tripped up, he got us out of a hole in a hurry. From the 12 up near the 36-yard line, a gain of 24 and fourth, uh, or Ashland's fourth first down. Just across the 35, first and 10, Ashland no huddle offense. Duckweiler to the left, Davis, Jennings, and Asher. Adkins go right the wide side. Again, it's Tay Thomas in the backfield with Brandon Houston in the shotgun. Marucci out over the football. He looks to throw, comes to the near sideline. Great catch here on the near sideline by Duckweiler at the 41. He gave up his body for that one. Good catch by Duckweiler. Doesn't gain much, but he came up with a complete play. Got about six. Second and four for the catch at their 42. 8.20 to go in the half. Atkins and Davis will be your wide outs to the right. Duckweiler will come to the near side. Thomas and Jennings are in the backfield with Houston in the shotgun. Flank him on both sides. Here's the give. There goes Braxton. He bounces outside, cuts back 50, and there he goes. Down the sideline. They'll not catch him at the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Tomcats. Braxton Jennings goes the distance for the Cats. And it's 13 0. We don't waste any time getting rolled. Oh, my. Well, that's a nice firework. And the catch was 7.56 to go here in the second quarter. 
Lead it 13 to nothing as Braxton Jennings gets his second touchdown of the year, or of the night, I should say. How long was that run? 50, 60 yards? No, it was 54 yards. 54, okay, we'll take it. Sexton to try the extra point. Adkins snaps it to Houston, and Jake, uh, I think he made it just inside the left upright. 7.56 to go in the half. It's now Ashland 14, Round County 0 on Cat Sports. 93.3 93.3 and 13.40. Giovanni's offers fantastic Italian dishes like spaghetti with meat sauce, lasagna, ravioli, manicotti, and baked lasagna. Their menu also includes the best sandwiches in town, from the stromboli to the Italian sub, calzones, and their signature Big Red. Fresh, hot, and delicious, Giovanni's Pizza can be delivered right to your door. Experience the quality of Giovanni's Pizza without compromise. Giovanni's says Good luck and go Tomcats on the upcoming season. Whether you're starting college for the first time or thinking about a career change, Ashland Community and Technical College is here to help you reach your goals. ACTC is now registering new students for 12-week and 8-week classes. Don't wait. Start your path to a new career today. Visit ashland.com kctcs.edu for more information. Ashland Community and Technical College. Your success equals our success. You're listening to Tom Cats Football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Well, the Tom Cats uh, march at 87 yards, just three plays. The big one, the Jennings gallop down the sideline. And Sexton's extra point with 7.56 to go in the half makes it 14 nothing. The ensuing kickoff, Round County grabs it up in the air, and they'll have great field positions. They fall on it at the Tomcat 47, or at their own 47-48. But Ashland, they can't keep us off the boards if we can get the football. That's our biggest problem. The turnover and <clears throat> Round County eating up the clock. First and 10 for round. They'll start at their own 48, trailing 14 nothing with 7.56 to go here in the uh, first half. Norton, the quarterback. Owen will go to the left side. Richardson, the wingman on the left. Pelfrey is the blocking back, and up is low, I think, or Judd. It's going to be Judd. He'll get the call around that short side. Breaks it at the 50. Nice run by Judd up down or down to the Tomcat 47. Goes Judd. Gain of four, five. Depending on the spot of the football, good spot. Front foot spot down to the Ashland, 46, and a gain of six. Second and four for Round County at the Ashland, 46. That was a front foot big step. (laughs) Yeah, that was a big, I would agree with you. Second and four round at the Ashland 46. Owen wide left. Richardson is the wingman on the left. Pelfrey's the blocking back. He's up in the shotgun. Norton is in the shotgun and again it's Judd in the backfield with him. Here's Norton. Gives it up the middle and Judd gets a call and nothing there. There's Austin Nichols and big number 68 Nate Mills. Judd got nothing. It'll bring up third down for the Vikings. They're two of five in third down conversions tonight. I don't know how that works. I don't know how you get a guy in the backfield behind the line. Yep push him backwards, and yet they still give him a yard. A yard to the 45, where it's third down and three. 6.40, and the clock rolling here in the ha- in the half. Again, it's Owen and Richardson. The wide outs to the left. Pelfrey the blocking back. Norton in the backfield. And low, or is it Judd? Judd. Judd's going to get it around that left side, and he lunges for the first down. I think he got a great second effort from Judd down to the Tomcat 41. He got hit just shy, and then he lunged to the 41-yard line and around County first down. First and 10 for the Vikings as they convert on third down. First and 10 for round at the Ashland 41-yard line, trailing 14-0. They're doing a good job of really keeping it out of their hands, out of Ashland's hands. And that's the key to beating the Tomcats. There's around County right now showing it. Owen to the left with Richardson. Football at the far hash mark. Norton in the shotgun. First and 10 at the Tomcat 41. Norton will give it left side. There goes Judd again. Good lunge for a couple of yards to about the 39. Just keep those feet going, and that's the uh, key right now. In goes for the Tomcats, uh, Owen Morris, and out will come Billups. 
after a gain of two. Second and eight for round at the Ashland 39. Again, the football to far hash mark as they take it right down the field. Richardson and Owen wide left. Norton in the shotgun. Again, it's Judd to his right. Pelfrey the blocking back. Ashland in the four-man front. Now cheat a couple of more up in the box. Norton, long count the line. Play clock down to six, down to five. He'll snap it, give it on the reverse. Here comes Richardson. Sam Lyons turns him in, but he breaks that tackle at the 35. Still on his feet to the 31-yard line. Sam Lyons turned him in, but Richardson with a nice pickup. I think he got enough for the first down. He did on a gain of nine, and Round County picks up their fifth first down. First and 10 for Round County now at the Ashland 30 with the Cats leading 14-0. Norton goes to the sideline, gets a play call from Kelly Ford and heads back out. Owen again, the wide out to the left. Richardson is your wingman left. That's a wide side of the field. Norton in the shotgun. And Judd beside him on his right. Pelfrey is the blocking man. Awaits a snap, does Norton. Play clock down to seven, down to six. Judd will pick it up, cut back to his right. And he'll get short yardage down near the Tomcat 28. There's Sawyer Edens with a stop for the Cats. But he does get a couple, second down and eight. But they're eating the clock. Yes, they are. 4-10 to go in the half. Ashland leading 14-0. Just can't get their hands on the ball. Brown County just moves it down the field. And then the Ashland defense, as Coach Tackett likes to say, bends but doesn't break. And that's a key so far. Second and eight round at the Ashland 28. Again, it's Owen to the left. Richardson is the wingman left. Pelfrey the up man blocking for Judd and Norton in the shotgun. Play clock down to six to five. He'll take the snap, throw it over to the screen pass. Got Owen, breaks one tackle, but Austin Nichols is there to bring him down about the 24. Not enough for the first down. Brings up third down for round. They're three of six in third down conversions. He'll spot it right at the 25-yard line. It'll be third down and about four. Four down territory, though, for the Vikings. Norton goes over the sideline, gets a play call from Coach Ford, and heads back out. Clock down to 3.10 to go in the half. Football to far hash mark as Owen will be the wide out to that short side with Richardson, and now Drake goes to that side, and Birchfield to the near side. So Norton is going to leave it off, and there goes Judd, and he's got the first down and more. Here comes the flag. They'll bring it back. He's got it inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line, but another hold against Round County. Their second penalty of night will nullify a nice run by Low. Flag is thrown right at the line of scrimmage about the 25, so they'll mark it back. It'll be third down all over again. Clock is stopped now with 2.52 to go in a half. Ashland leading 14-0. But Round County just keeping it out of our hands. That's why they won. They won. They won the flip of the coin. They won the ball. They don't want us to have it. They practiced this all week. Yep. Well, there's a timeout on the field. We have an injured Round County player that was low, who carried the football. I did not see it. He's up and around. Seems to be okay. Maybe just a cramp as he runs it off over on the far sideline. They'll mark the penalty back to the 35, where it's third down, about 15. So Round County playing behind the chains has a third and 15 at the Ashland 35. 2.52 left to go here in the half. Nobody called timeout, but both teams went to their sidelines, and now they're bringing them back out, and we're getting ready to play some ball. It was officially official. An official official. Owen and uh, Richardson, the wideouts left, and Drake joins them on that far side. Birchfield to the near side. Hamilton's in the backfield again. With Norton in the shotgun on third and long. Tom Katz in a three-man front. Now they got five up in the uh, box as the outside linebackers move up. Norton awaits a snap at the play clock. Still down to seven, now to six, and he'll snap it. He'll look across the middle, slant pass, caught by Owen, but not nearly enough for the first down at about the 27-yard line. Nice grab by Owen over there. Nice that bring up fourth. Round O of one and fourth down conversions. Fourth down about eight on a gain of seven. Ashland's going to have to perk up here. Yep. Not playing, uh, not playing with any fire in their eyes. A little yeah. flat. 
Fourth and eight for our round at the Ashland 28. Clock is rolling. We're down to two minutes to go in the half. If Round County can pick up this first down, we won't see the ball. No, we will not. The rest of the half. Tomcats do have two timeouts remaining. Two wideouts left. Drake and Owen. Birchfield to the right. Norton in the shotgun. Fourth down and eight. Looks slant pass. And then he slatterals it back. He didn't get the first down to Owen. The pass was completed to Drake, who laddled it back to Owen. And they're going to tackle him. Great tackle over there on the far sideline. Might have been. I'm not real sure who it was, but they did a great job. And the Tomcats hold. They're doing a little Bill Tom Ross trickery here. You betcha. So the Tomcats do have time to score now. Their first score came in just two minutes. Their last score came in just over a minute. Doesn't take us long if we can get the ball back. With a minute 39 to go in the half, Ashton leads it 14 to nothing. They have a deep, they're deep in their own territory, though, is the problem. As they'll start at their own 22, we'll call it 22. Yes, sir. Okay. It's close enough. Houston in the shotgun, quick pitch, and here comes Cam Davis. Around the left side, breaking tackles, 25-30. Breaks another one up to the 33-34 yard line. And that'll bring up a Tomcat first down and stop the clock momentarily. Got to move fast. If you're going to run the ball, you got to move fast. Seven first downs, first and ten, no huddle offense. Two wide outs to each side. Houston in the shotgun, round in a three-man front. Here's Houston rolling to his right. He's in no trouble. Now he's going to tuck it and run, and there he goes across the 35. Get to the 37, maybe 38, and doesn't get much. Stays in bounds, so the clock will continue to roll. Down just over a minute to go, and now Chad Tackett will call a timeout. His second of the half with a minute seven to go as Brandon Houston took it from his own 35, 34, I guess. We'll spot it up near the 38 and a gain of four. More importantly, he, he wasted a timeout. Yep, he tried to get out of bounds, but I think uh, Hamilton over there on the far side did a pretty good job of keeping him inbounds. So now the Tomcats have only one timeout remaining in 67 seconds. But uh, they are a big play offense. Too many weapons back there with Houston, Jennings, Thomas, Davis, Ashby. Whiteouts and Adkins and Freeze and Lions and Duckweiler. Lots and lots of weapons. A lot of names. Lots of speed. Duckweiler will be your wideout. He'll go to the right. That's a short side. Adkins and Jennings will come to the left and Freeze as well. Last time we had him out number three to two, and they threw it to Freeze, and he picked up nice yardage. You know, our receivers aren't getting open tonight. Cam Davis in the backfield with Houston in the shotgun. He on his left side on second down and about seven at their own 37-yard line. 107 to go. Brown County comes out there in their prefend defense. They got three men at the line of scrimmage and nobody else. That's it. Houston should have all day. Rolling to his left, looking upfield. He's going to lunge it way downfield for Atkins. He goes to get it, and he dropped it at about the seven. He let a rip. He went for all of it right there. Heck of a pass. Atkins just couldn't get to it. Just couldn't quite catch up. Stops it with 59 seconds to go, and it's third and seven for the Cats at their own 37-yard line. Four down territory, though, with 59 seconds to go. Brandon Houston, Tomcats do have one timeout remaining. Will come to the sideline, get the play from Coach Tackett, and head back out. It's Jennings, Freeze, and Lyons to the left. To the right is Duckweiler. Again, it's Cam Davis in the uh, shotgun with Houston. Houston waits a snap, third and seven. There's the screen to Jennings, and here he comes. 40, 45, 50, 45, and run out of bounds at the Round County 43, 42-yard line. It's a nice play call. I like that. It's a great play call with the right guy getting it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a big gainer. Let's do it again. Why not? First and 10 for the Tomcats now. They have it at the round county 41 with 53 seconds to go. Wide out to the left side, Jennings and Duckwider. The short side up on top, Adkins. Cam Davis in the backfield with Brandon Houston in the shotgun. Here's Houston, steps up in the pocket, now rolling left, looking downfield. Got his man freeze at the 30, 25-24, and we got flags all over the place. Got to be holding. That'll stop the clock at 47 seconds, you would think. 
Yep, it's going to be a hold against Ashland. And to Tomcat's second penalty of the night. Nullifies a great pass from Houston to Freeze. It would have put him down near the red zone. And the penalty is at the 40, uh, about the 41, 42. So it'll make it across the 50. And they'll spot the football at the Ashland 49, where it'll be first down all over again, and about 20. Again, it's Jennings, Freeze, and Atkins to the right. Duckweiler to the left. They s- Houston takes the snap, rolling right, looking, looking, looking. Cuts, now stops, and now looks upfield. Now he's going to run it. He's at midfield. Here he comes at the 45. Here he comes across field at the 40, get 35, out, get out, get 30. Out. And he won't get out of bounds. The clock continues to roll with 30 seconds to go. That'll stop it momentarily on the first down. Well, I would think it's I a first think, down. I don't it's, think he got a first down. I think it's going to be close. They'll stop it with 28 seconds to go. I think you're right. I think it looks about a yard short. They're going to bring out the chains. It was a nice run. Oh, Ashton's going to call timeout. That will burn their final timeout. According to the official, Chad Tackett will burn it, so it's not enough for the first down. He picked up 19. Mm. I don't know why Mr. Houston has a hard time getting out of bounds. I don't either. I think he feels like maybe he can break it sometimes. It's, sometimes he can, but the last two times he's tried it, he hadn't been able to. Well. Second and one, Ashland has it the round 32, 28 seconds and no timeouts. Ashland leads it 14 nothing. Trying to get down to get some more on there. Do you throw it, or excuse me, do you run it this time, get the first down, get the clock Mm. to stop, and then throw it to the end zone? Can't run it much anymore. Can't run it much. No, 28 seconds. We can spike it and stop it, but run plays take a lot of time. Got Nate Frazier tied in on the right. Jennings and Adkins wide right. And Duckweiler and Davis are left, so it's an empty backfield for Brandon Houston. Second and one at the round 32. Houston awaits a snap. Now timeout called by the official. Why? From the side official, he'll come back out and talk to the referee and the umpire. The sideline official says where you spotted the ball looks like a first down maybe. It does from here, doesn't it? It does. Almost. (laughs) They gave us a good spot, but here we go. Houston takes a snap from Marushi. He looks across the middle to Jennings. He's going to throw it on the far side to Atkins over his head and incomplete with 24 seconds to go. Brandon just having a hard time tonight connecting. He's only three of eight through the air for 32 yard. And now it's third down for the Cats. We're one of two in third down conversions. 24 seconds to go. Freeze and Atkins and Jennings go to the right. Duckwater to the left. I think you I think you go for the first down here. Do you? All right. I think you got to run the ball. Davis in the backfield. He's going to get the quick pitch. He's headed toward the far sideline. First down to 30, 25, 20, to the 15, and out of bounds right in the 14-yard line. Great run by Cam Davis. That's the call. A lot of speed. They can't catch that cat or Jennings either one. Yeah, you got three plays to the end zone. Take it from the 32. Down inside, well, we'll call it the 15, a gain of 17. First and 10 for the Tomcats in the red zone for the third time tonight with 18 seconds to go. we got time for three plays maybe? I think so. Adkins left, Jennings and Duckweiler to the right. Time out by Round County. They're the only ones got a timeout left, and they'll burn it right here. Well, they had two, so now they're down to one. With 18 seconds to go, Ashton will come to the side. I think they gave us a break there. I wouldn't. I don't, I'm not I don't sure think why. there's any question about that. <laughs> I mean, why did they? They gave us time to think things over, and uh, I'm not sure you want to give Ashton that kind of time. Well, I think what you do here is, you know, you give Chad Tackett and Steve Downey time to load up three plays. Good point. Yep. Load up three plays, no huddle offense, and boom, boom, boom. Hopefully, you're in the end zone. First and 10, Ashland has it at the Round County 15, leading 14 to nothing. Other scores to uh, pass along to you. Let's see if we can catch up. It's Boyd County 21, Greenup County 14, Ironton 35, Rock Hill 0. Corbin leads Johnson Central 14-6. Russell leads West Carter 14-3. Huntington High pounding Riverside 56 to nothing. Johnson Thank Central God scores. we don't have to play them. 
on <laughs> Johnson Central score. That was a little surprising to me. Yep. All right, first and ten, Ashland. They're out. Adkins goes to the left side. You've got Davis and Duckweiler to the right. Braxton Jennings is in the backfield with Houston in the shotgun. We got time for a couple of three plays. Here's Jennings out of the backfield, looking, looking, looking. He's going to tuck it. Now he's going to throw it. He's got his man. Touchdown to Braxton Jennings, or is he out of bounds? Nope, he got the touchdown. Wow. Great pass, great route by Braxton Jennings. I thought Houston broke the line of scrimmage before he threw it, quite honestly, but I guess he didn't. <laughs> I guess he didn't. And the Tomcats lead it 20 to nothing with 11 seconds to go here in the half. They get the score. Braxton Jennings gets his third touchdown of the night. This one a 15-yard pass from Houston. And the Cats up 20 to nothing. Jake Sexton kicks the next one, and that one's right through the middle. And with 11 seconds to go, it's Ashland 21 and Round County 0. We'll return here on Cat Sports 93-3 and 1340. Stop by your local McDonald's after the big game and celebrate with a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. Or enjoy their delicious chicken McNuggets, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or other sandwich of your choice with the best fries around. Download the McDonald's app and order ahead to save time for either dine-in or drive through And take advantage of the great deals found only on the app. McDonald's is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Clark's Pump and Shop is proud to serve the tri-state area with well-lit, clean, fully stocked stores where you'll find exceptional customer service. Clark's Pump and Shop offers excellent prices on everyday items and great monthly specials on items that you love. Download their app from the App Store for even more great value. Clark's Pump and Shop, a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. They ensure that you'll have a wonderful experience that will make you want to return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Now, back to Tomcats football on Cat Sports. 93.3 at 1340. 11 seconds to go in the half. Ashland marches 78 yards in eight plays. Takes him less than a minute and a half. Braxton Jennings, his third touchdown of the night. A 15-yard pass from Houston, who kicks this one. Bouncing around, up for grabs. Round County's got it at their 42-43. Sexton makes it 21-0. So Round County has it with 10 seconds to go. They do have a timeout remaining. But they trail it 21 nothing, and Ashland will get the ball to start the second half. First and 10 round, they'll spot it at their own 44-yard line. Wide to the near side comes Birchfield. To the left goes Owen. Norton's going to go up under center, and they're just going to take the uh, snap and be content down three touchdowns at half. He'll go to a knee, and that'll do it. Hmm. Okay. That'll end the first half. It's been a crazy first half of football. The Tomcats have been held to 21 points. After round county, just basically keep, uh, keep away from the Tomcats. But racked up big yardage and scored three of the four times they touched the football. It's Ashland 21, Round County 0 here at halftime at Putnam Stadium. We'll come back and have the first half scoring in a moment on Cat Sports 93-3 and 1340. First time or thinking about a career change, Ashland Community and Technical College is here to help you reach your goals. ACTC is now registering new students for 12-week and 8-week classes. Don't wait. Start your path to a new career today. Visit ashland.com kctcs.edu for more information. Ashland Community and Technical College. Your success equals our success. Tired of seeing those dings, dance, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 43 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says, Go Tomcats! 
Stop by your local McDonald's after the big game and celebrate with a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. Or enjoy their delicious Chicken McNuggets, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or other sandwich of your choice with the best fries around. Download the McDonald's app and order ahead to save time for either dine-in or drive through And take advantage of the great deals found only on the app. McDonald's is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Let's head back to the stadium for a recap of the first half on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Half time, 21 nothing over Round County. As the uh, Tomcats uh, <coughs> scored once in the first quarter, and it's been all Braxton Jennings. He got the first one with an 11-yard run. A six-play, 75-yard drive. It took him just over two minutes after Round County had eaten up most of the first quarter uh, in time, but they couldn't score. Sexton made it 7 nothing, and that's the way the first quarter ended. Tomcats get two more in the second quarter, both from Braxton Jennings, a 54-yard run, an 87-yard three-play drive. Sexton made it 14 to nothing with 7.56 to go in the half, and it took the Tomcats just a minute 12. <clears throat> Braxton Jennings got the final touchdown with 11 seconds to go in the half. He took the 15-yard pass from Brandon Houston. A 78-8 play drive that just took a minute 28. Sexton makes it 3 for 3 on the night. And Ashland leads it 21 to nothing. Ashland had the ball one other time and uh, marched it down into the red zone, but couldn't. Uh, they uh, came up short on a fourth down play and couldn't uh, uh, punch it in, or it had been 28. But that's not the way it is. It's 21 nothing. Brown County's been in the red zone once, but the Tomcat defense met the challenge and. Uh, kept them out of the end zone. So it's Ashland 21, Round County 0 here at halftime. It's JFL night here at historic Clark's Pump and Shop Putnam Stadium. We'll come back and look at the first half stats, catch up on scoring, and get you started with the second half. That's all coming up here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Stop by your local McDonald's after the big game and celebrate with a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. Or enjoy their delicious Chicken McNuggets, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or other sandwich of your choice with the best fries around. Download the McDonald's app and order ahead to save time for either dine-in or drive through And take advantage of the great deals found only on the app. McDonald's is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. McDonald's, I'm loving it. KFB, the Better Bank, has been making local decisions since 1931, creating strong roots in Northeast Kentucky and surrounding areas. Your community is our community. From checking accounts to retirement planning and everything in between, we can help. You love our community, and so do we. Local banking, local decisions, stronger community. Visit kfb.bank today to see what KFB can do for you. KFB, located in Ashland, Summit, Catlesburg, and Louisa. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The security of your accounts is very important to Desco Federal Credit Union. So to ease your mind, Desco has increased the insurance coverage. Your funds are now insured for at least $1 million with NCUA and excess share insurance combined. You can rest assured your accounts are safe at Desco. Go to DescoFCU.org for details and locations. With higher savings rates and lower fees on loans, enjoy the best of services at Desco Federal Credit Union. Hey, Tomcat fans, it's football season again, and that means fall is right around the bend. Ashland Milling Company has all the great products to help you with your lawn this fall. Falcon fescue grass, fertilizer, and lime. Be the envy of your neighborhood with a beautiful lawn. Give them a call or stop by at 110 Ninth Street, Ashland. Ashland Milling Company would like to say thanks to the tri-state area for your support for over 100 years. Ashland Milling Company says, Go Tomcats! Tired of seeing those dings, dents, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 43 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says go Tomcat. Shop and the Clark family have proudly served your family since 1970s on Cat Sports 93.3 and 
Leads at 21 nothing here at uh, halftime over Round County in a district matchup. The Cats trying to keep their undefeated uh, roll going. Tomcats in the first half had 10 first downs compared to Round County's five. Round County was one to the five of 11 through the air for 44 yards. The Tomcats were four of nine for 47 yards and a touchdown. Tomcats rushed it only 15 times but gained 275 yards. Round County, 19 rushing plays for 41 yards. So total offense, Round County had 41 rushing, uh, 44 passing for just 85. Tomcats, 47 passing, 275 rushing for 322, well on their way to another near 500 total offensive uh, performance here tonight. But we just can't get our hands on the football. We've only touched it four times and scored three of those four, and that's our uh, biggest problem. We got to we got to got to give us some football. We can't can't score without it. Well, we get it to start the first half. That's the good. News. That's the good news. And the cats are back out. And Round County's come back out. We'll uh, check some scores for you before we start the second half. Boyd County leads Greenup County twenty-seven to fourteen. It's Ironton uh, shutting out Rock Hill thirty-five nothing. Corbin fourteen, Johnson Central six at half. Russell fourteen, West Carter three. Raceland 21, Hazard 0, Huntington High 70, that's in 7-0, and Riverside 0. Nothing much going on at Riverside tonight, is there? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't want to play Huntington High. We played them in a scrimmage. And They're good. I've, I've, told, I've told people, I said, if we played them 10 times, I don't know if we could beat them once. Best football team I've seen. My God, they've got. You think Ashland's quick, you should take a peek at Huntington High. Lordy B. They've got the speed that you you, you dream about. Now, is that a, a product, though, too, of that new ruling in West Virginia? Nope. These are all their kids, believe Great. it or not. That's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, now, there's some schools that did prosper. Did prosper. <laughs> George Washington is one. Hurricane is another. Uh, but, I, but Huntington High was not. Now, I don't know what kind of team it's going to take to beat Huntington High, but they're going to have to be awfully good is all I can tell you. And, and our, our next opponent, Boyd County, I, I'm i not sure. I, maybe Greenup's not as good as I thought they were, even with last week's thumping. Yeah. Um, and maybe Boyd's better than I thought they were. I, I think so. I think he could be right, even though Boyd got beat last week by yeah, rather Johnson handily Central. by Johnson Central. It was 53-14 to 14 or yeah. something like that. Uh, but it was close at half. Yeah. So I've got that score here somewhere. 53 to 14 was the score. So it was like 21 or 28 to 14 at half. At half, yeah. So the Tomcats will get the second half kickoff as they put a few more minutes up on the clock to get us started. We'll come back with the second half kickoff. Ashton will get it when we start the uh, third 12 here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Stop by your local McDonald's after the big game and celebrate with a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. Or enjoy their delicious Chicken McNuggets, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or other sandwich of your choice with the best fries around. Download the McDonald's app and order ahead to save time for either dine-in or drive through And take advantage of the great deals found only on the app. McDonald's is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Clark's Pump and Shop and the Clark family have proudly served your family since 1976. Clark's Pump and Shop and the John W. Clark Oil Company has a goal to give back to the community in appreciation for your support. Clark Family Charities invest in various civic projects to benefit the area and also provide scholarships to local students with the Clark Family Scholarship and the Rodney Clark Memorial Scholarship. The Clark family is honored to invest in our future and is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. Return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Hey, Tomcat fans, it's football season again, and that means fall is right around the bend. Ashland Milling Company has all the great products to help you with your lawn this fall. Falcon fescue grass, fertilizer, and lime. Be the envy of your neighborhood with a beautiful lawn. Give them a call or stop by at 110 9th Street, Ashland. Ashland Milling Company would like to say thanks to the tri-state area for your support for over 100 years. Ashland Milling Company says, Go Tomcats! 
Whether you're starting college for the first time or thinking about a career change, Ashland Community and Technical College is here to help you reach your goals. ACTC is now registering new students for 12-week and 8-week classes. Don't wait. Start your path to a new career today. Visit ashland.kctcs.edu for more information. Ashland Community and Technical College. Your success is equals our success. A Cat Sports 93.3 at 1340. Getting ready for the second half kickoff. One stat that I didn't uh, pass along. Charlie did some uh, arithmetic here at halftime. Ashland only had the football time of possession for 5 minutes and 20 seconds. They scored 3 touchdowns in that time period. Round County had it the other 18 plus minutes and they have nothing. So if we can keep get the football we can score you got to give Round County's coaching staff, Kelly Ford, and yeah. give them credit. They, they've kept the ball away from us. That's the key. Uh, pretty obvious to beat him. All right, Drake has a go-ahead. Cash going right to left. Down on side's kick. And it's uh, picked up by Sexton. He's Whoa. got the 50-45, and he was one tackle away from busting <laughs> it. He picked it up at the 50 and got it down to the round 43. And Ashland's playing with a short field now. They'll have it first and 10 at the Round County 43-yard line, leading 21-0. How uh, <laughs> how many times have you uh, <laughs> called a onside kick run back for a Cut. touchdown? <laughs> I don't ever remember doing one. <laughs> All right, Duckweiler and Adkins go to the right side. Tay Thomas is in the backfield with uh, Brandon Houston, and Jennings will also go to the right side. And Nate Freezes, you're tied in on the left. Marushi out over the football frame. And Christian and Hicks and Alley. Houston gives it up the middle. There goes Tay inside the 40. Fumbles the football, and Rounds got it at the 41. Our second turnover of the night. We haven't had but one turnover all year. And tonight, we get two. That well, kills you. Kills you. You know, but uh, get it out of your system tonight. Yeah, good point. So the Tomcat defense quickly back out. Brown will have it. They've got good field position. They'll start their own 41-yard line. It happens. I guess it was going to happen sooner or later, and you're right. I'm glad it's happening tonight because I think we can beat this team if we turn it over again, to be honest with you. Wide out to the left side goes Owen, and Richardson is in the uh, wing formation. They're going to give it to Hamilton around that left side. He's trying to get outside, and the Cats are all over him back at the 40. Good tackle over there by Billups and Rogers. Pretty vicious hit, quite honestly. And no gain on the play. Second and ten for round at their own 41. Third quarter just underway as the Tomcats fumble it on their first play from the line of scrimmage and had a short field. And only about 43 yards to go for a score, and Tay Thomas coughed it up. Davis has fumbled it once for the Cats as well tonight. And it might be because the field is a little damp from the rain yet last night, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't, no, I'm not going to buy that. <laughs> Round hadn't fumbled yet. That's right. Owen to the left side and Richardson wing. Here's Norton in the shotgun to throw. Looking across the middle. He's going to tuck it. He's going to run with it. They're going to run him out of bounds at the 40-yard line. And, uh, nope. Nope. Okay. They got Sexton. Got him right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. I think you're right. It might have been. It was close. It was close <laughs> to being a late hit. You're right. Third and ten for round now. They're only three of seven in third down conversion. They have a third and ten at their own 40 with ten and a half to go in the third. Ashland leading it 21 nothing. Well, Tomcat defense got to rise up one more time and get the football back, and hopefully we can hang on to it. Up front, you've got Christian and Rogers and Billups. Sexton and Lyons and Thomas. And Nichols and Edens and Davis. Jennings is in defensively, as is Maverick Ashby. Norton in the shotgun, looks to throw across the middle. Picked off by Tate Thomas. 45-40. Down the sideline he goes at the 20. 10-5. Touchdown, Tomcats. Tate Thomas gets the pick and the score. Well, he makes up for the fumble. He gets it right back. For third quarter with 9.58 to go. Tate Thomas gets his first touchdown of the night. I didn't know how long ago. What do you think? About 40 yards, 45? About 47. 47. Actually. Okay, we'll go with that. And the Cats up 27 nothing. 
at 9.58 of the third. Asher Atkins to snap it. Brandon Houston to hold it. And hopefully Jake Sexton will put her through there. Lines down on its way. I think he got it. He did. 9.58 to go here in the third. It's Ashland 28 and around County Zero on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Tired of seeing those dings, dents, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 43 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says, Go Tomcats! Giovanni's Downtown Ashland and the Creative Cow are avid supporters of the Tomcats. Yes, pizza, ice cream and waffles, and milkshakes. Stop by before or after the game for daily specials. Giovanni's Downtown Ashland party specials. Pick two or four, always on special. And our family meal is always only $19.99. Stop by the Creative Cow, featuring ice cream and waffles and now milkshakes. Next door to Giovanni's, 724 Greenup Avenue. Get the app, giovannis.hungerrush.com and order online. Go Tomcats! This is Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Brandon Houston, a line drive kick. This one's picked up. Now fumbled by Drake at his 20. Picks it up at the 20. Spins up near the 25, 27, 28. And that's where round will start first and 10 after the Tomcat touchdown. Tate Thomas intercepting the pass. Going 47 yards for the score. And Sexton makes it 28-0. 9.50 to go here in the third. We've got to do some window cleaning here. We need, why don't we you do bring it? that up? I, I, uh, I've had a difficult time because the paper has got his window open, yeah. so I have no break here. Yeah, yeah, it's I got entirely you. behind yeah, the yeah. glass. We need to turn those lights off somehow. I've got a piece of tape you can put on that. Did you know that? It's in that black box right back there. Norton goes to the wing T formation. He goes up under center. Got one wide out to the left. He's going to give it to Pelfrey, who's the fullback, and I'm not sure he got back to the line of scrimmage. Pelfrey now wears number 50. He's normally a lineman, but they're putting him in the fullback's position in the uh, wing T formation, and that'll make it second down and 10 at their own 30. Clock rolling, 9.25 to go in the third, and Ashland leads it 28-0. Brown County, I don't know if they'll continue to stay in the huddle and let that play clock tick down. They were in the first half, but down to 10 seconds. Yep, they're going to stay in the huddle down to eight. And down to six. Norton will snap it at four. He'll give it to Hamilton around that short side. No, my goodness, they're all over him. That's Cam Davis over all over him. That had a whole lot of ugly in it. Yes, it did. That'll bring up third down for Round County. They're three of eight in third down conversions. And they lose about five. Third and five for round, or third and 15, I should. They're behind the sticks at their 25. Third and 15 for Round County. Eight and a half minute mark of the third. Play clock down to 12 as they break huddle and come to the line. Norton's in the shotgun. He's going to bring one wide out to the near side. That's Owen. And play clock down to three, down to two. Snaps it, gives it on the uh, reverse to Richardson, and they got him back at the 15. There you go. And that's Austin Nichols who got him. Thank you. Good job by, uh, they like to call him Audie. Got him back at the 17, a loss of about three more. And Round's going to have to force to punt the football now. That would be the wise call. Yes. For the fourth time tonight. It'll be fourth down about 20. They got to go to the Ashland 39. The ball's at about the 17. Drake will punt it. Cam Davis, who's had trouble tonight on punt returns. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. You're exactly right. Got the kinks worked out. He'll be fine. And time called by Round County. They're a player short. Don't see a flag. And Round County does burn a timeout here. For what reason? It looks like they may be a player short with 7.32 to go in the third. 
Ashland leads it 28 to nothing. They'll get the ball right back. Tomcat football brought to you by Ashland Tomcat Cor- uh, corporate sponsor supporting Tomcat athletics at all levels, including Van Art Properties, Ashland Credit Union, UK King's Daughters Medical Centers, Members' Choice Credit Union, Premier Physical Therapy, Lewis Family Care, Brace Yourself Orthodontics, and People's Bank. Stay with us after the game. We'll have Coach Chad Tackett's post-game comment, comments brought it to you by Giovanni's Vassal, the Italian place to be, who brought us our lovely pizzas and sandwiches here at App. And our Tomcat players of the game, or player of the game, might be plural, brought to you by Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank. Round County breaks huddle, and they'll punt it again. Again, Davis standing at the round 45. We should get good field position. Drake awaits a snap. A little bit high. He's going to get it off. It's a terrible kick, but hits at the 40, 45, and will go dead to about the round 48. So, again, we got pretty good field position. So the Tomcats will start with another short field at the Round County 48-yard line, leading 28-0 with 7.22 to go in the third. So a quick score here, maybe a two-point conversion, and uh, we get the running clock. All right, Asher Adkins will go wide right. Still not enough, is it? 8 and 28 is 36, isn't it? I thought it was 37. 36. There you go. Nate Freeze tied in on the right to the near side, Duckweiler. In the backfield, you've got Ashby and Davis for Houston. Gives it to Cam, and there he goes. 45-40, and he's gone at the 12, at the 10-5. Touchdown, Tomcats are bringing it back. We got a hold back upfield. I don't know. This one umpire, he just keeps calling holds and holds and holds. I think he's just so, he's not used to seeing big holes. I <laughs> like that. You may be right. Touchdown, they say. Pulling the flag up. That flag is a personal foul against Ashland. Oh. And, and personal foul against Round County, offsetting oh. penalties. We'll take it. Wow. Okay. Cam Davis will get the score, 48 yarder, and the Tomcats now lead it 34 to nothing with 7 12 to go here in the uh, third quarter. Does Coach Tad Tackett go for two? Nope. He's going for one. That's the gentleman thing to do. That's exactly right. Davis with a 48-yard touchdown run. Asher Adkins will snap it, and Brandon Houston will hold it. Try to get it 35-0. Low snap. Sexton gets it up and splits the uprights right down Dirk Payne Lane. 7-12 to go in the third. It's now Ashland 35 and Round County 0 on Cat Sports 93-3 and 1340. The security of your accounts is very important to Desco Federal Credit Union. So to ease your mind, Desco has increased the insurance coverage. Your funds are now insured for at least $1 million with NCUA and excess share insurance combined. You can rest assured your accounts are safe at Desco. Go to DescoFCU.org for details and locations. With higher savings rates and lower fees on loans, enjoy the best of services at Desco Federal Credit Union. Giovanni's offers fantastic Italian dishes like spaghetti with meat sauce, lasagna, ravioli, manicotti, and baked lasagna. Their menu also includes the best sandwiches in town, from the stromboli to the Italian sub, calzones, and their signature Big Red. Fresh, hot, and delicious, Giovanni's Pizza can be delivered right to your door. Experience the quality of Giovanni's Pizza without compromise. Giovanni's says good luck and go Tomcats on the upcoming season. You're listening to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Tomcats go one play in 48 yards. Cam Davis gets the touchdown run. Sexton makes it 35-0 with 7-12 to go in the third. Ashland's run two plays in the third quarter. One a pass interception for a score. And the other, the run by Davis. Here's Jake Sexton kicking off. It's going to bounce around to 10. Bouncing, bouncing. Picked up by Drake. Whoa. And he's nailed by Ryday Rucker. Wow. <laughs> Ryday Rucker got him right in his tracks at the 7. Yeah, kid. Rucker had just enough time to put a saddle on. <laughs> Golly, that kid can come in a hurry. He's got a motor that never quits. 
first and ten round in the shadow of their own end zone. They start at their own six, seven yard line. Now trailing at 35 to nothing with just over seven minutes to go here in the third. And they're going to keep Rucker in at a linebacker, I think. And, yep, there he is. He earned it. <laughs> yes, he did. Wow, he can go. Wide to the near side comes Owen. It'll be at Norton going up under center in the wing T formation. Split backfield. Ashland nearly jumps. He's going to pitch it back. Here comes Hamilton around the near side line. The Tomcats are all over him. Sammy Lyons and Cam Davis got him back inside the five. But they'll give him forward progress, probably about the line of scrimmage. With 6.50 to go in the third, Ashland leads it 35 to nothing. And they'll put it right back at the five-yard line and a loss of one. Brown County has a minus nine yards rushing in this quarter. Minus yardage. Did they have much in the first half? Uh, 41. Second 11 for Brown at their own five-yard line. They're staying in the huddle. Now they break with just nine seconds to go on the play clock. Owen wide left. Again, the shotgun now as Pelfrey's in there to block. Play clock at one. They take the snap. Norton pumps, pumps. Going long. That's picked up by Cam Davis at the 20. He'll go down the sideline for the touchdown, touchdown, Tomcat. Cam Davis picks that one off at about the 20-yard line, and the Cats have now blown it out, and we will get the running clock with 5.59 to go here in the third. Two defensive touchdowns by the Tomcats here in the third quarter. Thomas with a 47-yard pass interception. Cam Davis with a 21-yard pass interception. And it's 41 to nothing. Ashland leads it. Again, it's Jake Sexton for the extra point. Houston will hold it. Asher Adkins will snap it. On its way by Jake. And right down Broadway. 5.20 to go with a moving clock. Ashland 42. And Round County 0 here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Family have proudly served your family since 1976. Clark's Pump and Shop and the John W. Clark Oil Company has a goal to give back to the community in appreciation for your support. Clark Family Charities invest in various civic projects to benefit the area and also provide scholarships to local students with the Clark Family Scholarship and the Rodney Clark Memorial Scholarship. The Clark Family is honored to invest in our future and is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. Return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop by your local McDonald's after the big game and celebrate with a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. Or enjoy their delicious Chicken McNuggets, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or other sandwich of your choice with the best fries around. Download the McDonald's app and order ahead to save time for either dine-in or drive through And take advantage of the great deals found only on the app. McDonald's is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Now, back to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 at 1340. Keener with a kick and a good one. Hits at the 10 to the 5 and rolls into the end zone. I think that's our first touchback of the year. I don't remember another one. Do you? Mm -mm. So, Round will get it first and 10 at their own 20, but trailing now 42 to nothing with a running clock at 445 of the third. 21-yard pass interception by Cam Davis. He gets back-to-back scores, and Sexton, who is now 6 of 6 tonight, will make it 42-0 with a moving clock. Round first and 10 at their own 20. And this one's about over. Well, I'd say it's over, but... Just got to run the clock. Got to run the clock. Tomcats get a couple of new players in there, Ben Kelly and Trent Gist at the uh, cornerback positions. And also in there at safety is Carson Owens. Here is Hamilton trying to turn it around the right side. And a great tackle back there by Mason Wolf, I think. Got him back inside the 15-yard line, about the 13. Great tackle by Wolf. Good tackle. Now, has Rams still got their big boys in? I think they do. 
Browns now rush for a minus 16 here in the quarter. 3.35 to go in the third. Ashland 42, Round County, nary a point. Nary one? Nary one. N- nary one. Second and 17th around. They're going to stay in the huddle. They're not taking their... They're in no hurry, even though they trail 42-0. There's nothing good out there for them outside the comfort of that huddle. (laughs) I agree. Wide left goes Owen. Norton's going to go up under center in the wing T formation, split backfield. He fumbles the snap, and he falls forward for a yard up near the 15, maybe two. Tomcats cover him up there. And that was Smizer, Tyshawn Smizer, a junior. So we'll give him two yards. That's the first plus they've had of rushing the ball in the third quarter, a plus two. Now they're down to minus 14. And that was a result of a fumble (laughs) recovery. Third and about 15 for round at their own 15. Clock rolling with two and a half to go in the third. Norton returns to the huddle after going to the sideline. We'll play clock down under 10. They'll be lucky to get this one off at six, at five. They break down to three. Norton in the shotgun, two, one, and there's your timeout for Round County. They'll burn a timeout here and keep away from the penalty, which will stop the clock at 2.14. It's the only time it'll, well, it stops on touchdowns, injuries, and timeouts. And earthquakes. And earthquakes. Scores to pass along to you. It's Boyd County 34, Greenup County 14. Uh, Johnson Central losing to Corbin, 17-6. Rachel leads Hazard, 34-0. Russell, 14. West Carter, 9. Huntington High, 77. Riverside, 0. Ironton has beaten Rock Hill, 42-0. And that's it. Third and 15 for round at their own 15-yard line. They have yet to pick up a first down. They've thrown it twice. Both passes were intercepted and scored. It's been a total disaster in yep. the second half. Yep, I mean, total. All right, Norton in the shotgun on third and long. Start the clock. He's going to look. Ooh. He's going to go long, and the pass is short. Intended for Drake up at the 35. Back there defending was Kelly. Norton took a pop. Did he? Big time pop. And that'll bring up fourth down for round. Clock continues to roll to minute 50. Fourth and 15 for round at their own 15-yard line. Trailing 42 to nothing. Drake will punt it. And we've got another new one going to return the punt. This is Keyshawn Newman. But Davis going to get a little bit of a break. Newman will stand and at the round 45 as Drake awaits the snap. Oop, it's over his head into the end zone. Drake will try and run it out. Now he'll kick it. And that ball is straight up in the air and will hit at the 20, 25, 30. Look at that. Rolls all the way to the 38-yard line. Can you believe of, that? That was a heck of a play by uh, that punter. That was a nice play by Drake. That got it all the way up to the 38. He turned a disaster into a plus. He was rolling around in the end zone and got it off somehow. And Ashland, again, has the short field. They'll start first and 10 at the Round County 38 with the 52nd clock moving. New quarterback for the Tomcats, Caleb Conway. Newman and Rucker are the running backs. Connor Messer to the wide out with Millette and wide to the right side goes Gist. We've got new linemen in there. I'll get them in a minute. New quarterback Conway gives to Rucker, and here he comes. 40, 35, breaking tackle, still on his feet. Still on his feet at the 25 to the 20, and they're riding him out of bounds at the 19-yard line. <laughs> God, he's something to watch. You know, we talk about the Brick Jennings and the Davises and the Houstons and the Ashby's. I tell you, he's worth the price of admission, boys. you got to watch Ryday Rucker. He's something. Wow. 38 all the way to the 18, a gain of 20, and that will end, mercifully, the third quarter. At the end of three, it is Ashland 42 as they get 
21 in that period. They shut out the Vikings. 42-0 at the end of three. We'll be back with a fourth and final in a moment here on Cat Sports 93-3 and 1340. KFB, the Better Bank, has been making local decisions since 1931, creating strong roots in Northeast Kentucky and surrounding areas. Your community is our community. From checking accounts to retirement planning and everything in between, we can help. You love our community, and so do we. Local banking, local decisions, stronger community. Visit kfb.bank today to see what KFB can do for you. KFB, located in Ashland, Summit, Cattlesburg, and Louisa. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hey, Tomcat fans, it's football season again, and that means fall is right around the bend. Ashland Milling Company has all the great products to help you with your lawn this fall. Falcon fescue grass, fertilizer, and lime. Be the envy of your neighborhood with a beautiful lawn. Give them a call or stop by at 110 Ninth Street, Ashland. Ashland Milling Company would like to say thanks to the Tri-State area for your support for over 100 years. Ashland Milling Company says, Go Tomcats! This is Tom Katz football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. First and 10 for Ashland at the 19 is where they spot it. Tom Katz into the red zone. Conway, the quarterback, he's going to give it off, and that is Duckweiler who carries it. He takes it inside the 18, maybe the 17 yard line. Duckweiler doesn't carry it much, he's usually a wideout. And the clock rolling here in the fourth with Ashland leading 42 0. I say you give it to Rucker and let him run over somebody. <laughs> I love to watch him play. A gain of one, second and nine. <laughs> He's fun. Wide left goes Kennedy or Kelly. And to the near side, Gillette and Messer. Conway in the shotgun. Newman on his right. Duckweiler on his left. And Conway gives it. And here comes Duckweiler at the 15. Cuts back at the 10 to the 5. He's in, but a flag. And it was. Did he hold? Yep. Okay. So Duckweiler's 18-yard touchdown run will be nullified. Another holding call on Ashland. Their third of the night. And that'll bring up, uh, that'll bring it back on a nice touchdown run for Duckweiler. It'll bring up second down and about 20. Spot the football at the 20. 728. Where are you going, ref? He doesn't have a clue. He doesn't have a clue. He's walking until he gets tired. <laughs> <coughs> They're going to put it at about the 27 28. Just put the ball down, will you? For God's sakes, we've got to play here. Wide out to the near side goes Guess, Messer, and Duckweiler to the right. Newman in the backfield. And Conway is the quarterback. Conway with Newman on his right. Takes a snap, quick pitch. Here comes Keyshawn. Cuts it in, cuts it out. There he goes at the 25, cuts back at the 15, and down to about the 14-yard no, line. He's still moving. He's still goes going. Goes Keyshawn he's Newman. Still he's going. still going. They can't bring him down inside the 10 to maybe the 7. Go, Keyshawn. We talked about him last week. It's a shame he has to play behind these four other guys we got. But he's a heck of a runner. They get down to the six and a gain of about 27. They're putting fireworks off. We didn't score yet. They're probably all drunk. <laughs> First and goal for the Tomcats now at the, about the six. Newman on his left, Rucker on his right. They give it to Newman. He's going to go straight up the gut, and he'll dance into the end zone for the Tomcat touchdown. Keyshawn Newman goes in from six yards out. That'll make it 48 to nothing. Now you can put the fireworks off. With 9.20 to go here. That was a pretty one. Newman gets his first touchdown of the year. And it's 48 nothing. Well, who's going to try the extra point this time? This time we got Roblero, a sophomore. Conway's going to hold it, and oh. the kick, whoop, he slipped and fell. He fell right down on his tush. And obviously, the kick uh, didn't make it. He went right into the line. Well, that happened. So it's now Ashland 48, Round County 0. Clock has stopped at 8.32 to go in this one. We'll be back 
on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. The security of your accounts is very important to Desco Federal Credit Union. So to ease your mind, Desco has increased the insurance coverage. Your funds are now insured for at least $1 million with NCUA and excess share insurance combined. You can rest assured your accounts are safe at Desco. Go to DescoFCU.org for details and locations. With higher savings rates and lower fees on loans, enjoy the best of services at Desco Federal Credit Union. Giovanni's Downtown Ashland and the Creative Cow are avid supporters of the Tomcats. Yes, pizza, ice cream and waffles, and milkshakes. Stop by before or after the game for daily specials. Giovanni's Downtown Ashland party specials. Pick two or four, always on special. And our family meal is always only $19.99. Stop by the Creative Cow, featuring ice cream and waffles and now milkshakes. Next door to Giovanni's, 724 Green Up Avenue. Get the app, giovannis.hungerrush.com and order online. Go Tomcats! You're listening to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Tomcats march 38 yards in four plays. Newman gets his first score. Seven-yard run, and Roblero misses his extra point. 48-0. Ensuing kickoff taken by Norton at his own 20 and brings it up near the 25, maybe yep, about the 25, and round will start there with a moving clock. 7.50 to play in this one with Ashland leading it 48 nothing. Led it 21 to nothing at half. And fumbled on their first play in the second half. But then Tay Thomas got a pass interception. Cam Davis got a pass interception. Cam Davis got uh, another big long run. And the defense has done its job and kept Round County. We haven't shut anybody out this year, have we? Nope. I believe we're about to. Well, it is possible. 48 nothing. Well, Mr. Davis, a couple of mistakes, but didn't disappoint tonight. No, he did not. He's an athlete. Yes, he is for right law. And he's only a sophomore. Got two nice more years out of him. All right, in the wing T formation, the new quarterback is Matthew Hamilton, a flag thrown. I believe it was a uh, motion. Illegal procedure against round, false start. Their third penalty of the night. It'll be first and 15 for round back inside the 20 at about, no, about 21 yard line. Carson Owens, a freshman, is in in the secondary for the Cats. All right, the new quarterback is Hamilton. He comes out in the wing T formation, one wide out left, and a split backfield for Matthew Hamilton. He'll take the snap. Quick pitch to the near side, and the Tomcats are all over who he's trying to, whoever that is. He spins out of one, reverses field back to the far side. Here comes a flag. He picks up good yardage across the 30, up near the 32, 33, and that runner was Cameron Cross. But they're going to bring that back on a clip. Well, they're picking nope, up the they're going to pick it up. Okay, pick it up. That's what I said. So round will pick up a first down first of the half. Yes, it is. From the 21 up to the... You know, I don't know how you blow a call like a clip. How can it be second and 15? Well, it's not. It's second and five. Or second and five. Yeah. Hookie. Because he started behind the chains, if okay. you already call. That's right. You're right. Second and five round at their 30. Clock rolling at 525. Again, it's Matthew Hamilton in the backfield. He's got Cross back there with him in the wing T. They split the uh, backfield, and the give is the second man, and the Tomcats are all over him. Number 87, Gavin Stutler, is in to apply the pressure. So it wasn't their first first down, was it? Nope. So i got to erase that one. I thought it was a first down. Well, when you think about it, he ran about 45 yes, yards he did. for a net of 10. Gain of two. It'll be third down for round. There are three of ten in third down conversions tonight. Third down about three at about their 32 and a half. Clock rolling at 440 to go. Matthew Hamilton, the quarterback. <clears throat> He's got Cross in the backfield. Nope, Cross is going to go in the wing. And number seven is Hinton. 
And they put uh, the man in motion at his cross. He's going to go around the right side. First down across the 35 up near the 40. Goes cross. He's got a little bit of speed. A whole lot of speed. A gain of eight, and that will be Round County's first first down of the second half. First and ten for Round now, up at their 40. Wholesale substitutions for the time catch. In comes Brandon McGee and Malachi Ward. First and ten round at the 40. Clock rolling inside four minutes to go. 48 to nothing. Hamilton to quarterback. Wing T split backfield. Hamilton going to roll to his right. He's looking to throw. He pumps. He pumps. He's going to throw it back to the near sideline. That's going to be nearly picked off by Gillette. And a late flag comes in. Why? Where? For what reason? That's not possible. That's, they're not going to call pass interference on that. Apparently they are. Oh, illegal receiver downfield. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay, we'll go with that. Well, we knew it couldn't be. Kind of lineman downfield. Oh, nope, it is pass interference against Ashland and illegal receiver downfield offsetting. That's just silly. That is silly. It'll be first down for round back at their 40-yard line, first and 10. Clock continues to roll, 2.55 to go. Ashland leading 48-0. to zero. And on the road the next couple of weeks, out to Boyd next week, then an open and then down to Johnson Central. Hamilton, your quarterback, in the wing T formation. One running back back there. He's got two wingmen. They're going to give it to Cross around the near side. He comes. Ashland's got him hemmed in. And Gillette, along with the uh, Tomcats, Tyler, or Tyron Turner, get him. Good defense. They stood yep. that play up. Good job by the Tomcat JVs and freshmen. He gained a couple up to the 42. Well, we won't see Second the ball eight. offensively again. No. Clock rolling down to 210 to go in this one. Ashland leading at 48-0. In comes Chris Gill. For the Cats, Connor Messer on that front line for the Tomcats along with Miles Hutchinson. They go to the shotgun, and Hamilton will be in the shotgun. He's got wide outs to each side. Crosses in the backfield with him. Second and eight. At 145 to go, Hamilton's going to keep it. He'll try and bounce outside, and the Tomcats are all over him. Yeah, I don't think he made it back to the line of scrimmage for the Cats. Newman got the tackle. 90 seconds to go. It's third down. Didn't get it. Number 76, Ashland just went in. 76, that is Elijah Payne. Third and eight for a round. At their own 42, and the clock down to a minute 10. This might be our last play. Cross will go wide right. In the backfield, you have Hamilton, the quarterback. He'll go up under center now. And it's split backfield. Here is Hamilton going to pitch it back to Cross. Cross going to try and get outside. Gets away from one, two, 45, 50. Is it still on his feet? He's loose at the 40. Tomcats finally chase him down at the 28-yard line. Cross does have good speed. They convert on third down, and the clock rolling at 40 seconds. I'd say throw the ball to him. Yeah. A 29-yard pickup right there. First and 10 round at the Ashland, 28. 26 seconds to go. This will be our last play of the game, I would think. I'd give it to him again, let him run it. Hamilton up under center in the wing tee. They give it to Cross, and there he goes around the right. He's going to throw it. Nope, decides to run it and gets away. He's still loose at the 30, still on his feet. And down, and that will do it with six seconds to go. Cross does not get back to the line of scrimmage, and the Tomcats win and handle it. Tomcats go to 7-0 and on the season with a 48 to nothing win over the Round County Vikings. The Vikings lose their third game in a row. They fall to two and or one and five on the season. Tomcats, more importantly, now go to two and zero oh in the district. Round County falls to zero oh and one. Tomcats are alone in first place in the uh, district championship. Forty-eight nothing. Cats win it over Round County. 
We'll be back in just a few minutes here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Your friends and staff at Ashland Office Supply wish the best of luck to the Ashland Tomcats this season. Ashland Office Supply has been serving the Tri-State for over 50 years and is the place the Ashland area comes to for everything office-related. And they mean everything. Binders, folders, classroom and cleaning supplies. They'll even help you with office furniture, break room snacks and supplies, and so much more. Stop by today at South 29th Street or visit their sister location, Office Furniture USA at 2781 Winchester Avenue and online at ashlandoffice.com. Tired of seeing those dings, dents, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 43 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says go Tomcat. Giovanni's offers fantastic Italian dishes like spaghetti with meat sauce, lasagna, ravioli, manicotti, and baked lasagna. Their menu also includes the best sandwiches in town, from the stromboli to the Italian sub, calzones, and their signature Big Red. Fresh, hot, and delicious, Giovanni's Pizza can be delivered right to your door. Experience the quality of Giovanni's Pizza without compromise. Giovanni's says good luck and go Tomcats on the upcoming season. Clark's Pump and Shop and the Clark family have proudly served your family since 1976. Clark's Pump and Shop and the John W. Clark Oil Company has a goal to give back to the community in appreciation for your support. Clark Family Charities invest in various civic projects to benefit the area and also provide scholarships to local students with the Clark Family Scholarship and the Rodney Clark Memorial Scholarship. The Clark family is honored to invest in our future and is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. Return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. It's time for the post game report on Cat Sports 93.3 at 13:40. Tomcats win and handily tonight, 48 nothing over the Round County Vikings. A little bit of a slow start, picked it up in the second quarter and continued their manhandling of the Vikings in the second half. Braxton Jennings got us started with 3:40 to go. Round County decided to basically keep uh, play keep away. We couldn't get our hands on the football. First time uh, we got it, we go 75 yards in six plays in just over two minutes. Jennings got the touchdown to make it 7-0 after Sexton made the extra point. Tomcats' second series, they drove it inside the red zone but couldn't score. And in their next series, Jennings goes 54 yards, a three-play 87-yard drive. That took us just over a minute. Sexton made it 14 to nothing, with 7.56 to go in the half. Tomcats were not to be denied. They got it again with 11 seconds to go. Braxton Jennings gets his third touchdown of the night, a 15-yard pass from Brandon Houston. Eight-play, 78-yard drive. Sexton makes it 21-0, and that's the way we went to halftime. Tomcats got the second-half kickoff, believe it or not, and on their first play, Tay Thomas fumbles it. So Round County gets it right back, and uh, the Tomcats... Tay Thomas then turns around and intercepts the Norden pass. Goes 47 yards for the score. And with the Sexton's kick, with 9.58 to go in the third, it's Ashland 28 and Round County 0. Then Cam Davis gets his first of two tonight, a 48-yard run. A one-play 48-yard drive on a short field. Sexton makes it 35 to nothing. And the Cats are not to be denied. They got another third quarter score with 5.59 to go. Davis, a 21-yard pass interception. He gets Sexton's extra point, 42 to nothing. We got a running clock with 5.59 to go. Here in the third and the fourth quarter, it is Mr. Newman. Keyshawn gets his first touchdown of the year, a seven-yard run, a four-play 38-yard drive. Roblero's kick was short, and Ashland led it 48 to nothing, and that's the way it ends up. It's Ashland 48 and Round County 0. The Cats go to 7-0. and More importantly, 2-0 and in the district. Round County now falls to 1-5. and They're 1-0-1 and and in the district. 1-5 and overall, 1-0-1 oh and one in the uh, district. Final uh, next to last uh, home game for the Cats in the regular season. We hit the road next Friday night. Head out to Boyd County to take on the Lions. Last check we had with them, they were beating Greenup by uh, about three touchdowns. 
All right, we'll come back uh, here shortly. We'll have some stats. And, of course, we'll talk to Tomcat head coach Chad Tackett. His postgame comments were brought in by Giovanni's of Ashland, the Italian place to be, and we'll have our Tomcat players of the game as well. Brought to you by Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank. All that's coming up. Stay with us here on Cat Sports 93.3 and uh, 13.40. Stop by your local McDonald's after the big game and celebrate with a Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. Or enjoy their delicious Chicken McNuggets, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or other sandwich of your choice with the best fries around. Download the McDonald's app and order ahead to save time for either dine-in or drive through And take advantage of the great deals found only on the app. McDonald's is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. McDonald's, I'm loving it. KFB, the Better Bank, has been making local decisions since 1931, creating strong roots in Northeast Kentucky and surrounding areas. Your community is our community. From checking accounts to retirement planning and everything in between, we can help. You love our community, and so do we. Local banking, local decisions, stronger community. Visit kfb.bank today to see what KFB can do for you. KFB, located in Ashland, Summit, Catlesburg, and Louisa. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The security of your accounts is very important to Desco Federal Credit Union. So to ease your mind, Desco has increased the insurance coverage. Your funds are now insured for at least $1 million with NCUA and excess share insurance combined. You can rest assured your accounts are safe at Desco. Go to DescoFCU.org for details and locations. With higher savings rates and lower fees on loans, enjoy the best of services at Desco Federal Credit Union. Hey, Tomcat fans, it's football season again, and that means fall is right around the bend. Ashland Milling Company has all the great products to help you with your lawn this fall. Falcon fescue grass, fertilizer, and lime. Be the envy of your neighborhood with a beautiful lawn. Give them a call or stop by at 110 9th Street, Ashland. Ashland Milling Company would like to say thanks to the tri-state area for your support for over 100 years. Ashland Milling Company says, Go Tomcats! Giovanni's Downtown Ashland and the Creative Cow are avid supporters of the Tomcats. Yes, pizza, ice cream and waffles, and milkshakes. Stop by before or after the game for daily specials. Giovanni's Downtown Ashland party specials. Pick two or four, always on special. And our family meal is always only $19.99. Stop by the Creative Cow, featuring ice cream and waffles and now milkshakes. Next door to Giovanni's, 724 Greenup Avenue. Get the app, giovannis.hungerrush.com and order online. Go Tomcats! Your friends and staff at Ashland Office Supply wish the best of luck to the Ashland Tomcats this season. Ashland Office Supply has been serving the Tri-State for over 50 years and is the place the Ashland area comes to for everything office related. And they mean everything. Binders, folders, classroom and cleaning supplies. They'll even help you with office furniture, break room snacks and supplies, and so much more. Stop by today at South 29th Street or visit their sister location, Office Furniture USA at 2781 Winchester Avenue and online at ashlandoffice.com Tired of seeing those dings, dents, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 43 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says go Tomcats. Whether you're starting college for the first time or thinking about a career change, Ashland Community and Technical College is here to help you reach your goals. ACTC is now registering new students for 12-week and 8-week classes. Don't wait. Start your path to a new career today. Visit ashland.kctcs.edu for more information. Ashland Community and Technical College. Your success equals our success. Giovanni's offers fantastic Italian dishes like spaghetti with meat sauce, lasagna, ravioli, manicotti, and baked lasagna. Their menu also includes the best sandwiches in town, from the stromboli to the Italian sub, calzones, and their signature Big Red. Fresh, hot, and delicious, Giovanni's Pizza can be delivered right to your door. Experience the quality of Giovanni's Pizza without compromise. Giovanni's says good luck and go Tomcats on the upcoming season. 
Clark's Pump and Shop and the Clark family have proudly served your family since 1976. Clark's Pump and Shop and the John W. Clark Oil Company has a goal to give back to the community in appreciation for your support. Clark Family Charities invest in various civic projects to benefit the area and also provide scholarships to local students with the Clark Family Scholarship and the Rodney Clark Memorial Scholarship. The Clark family is honored to invest in our future and is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. Return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. We are professional grade. Hey, it's Sydney inviting you to enjoy more with Thornhill GM Superstore. And GMC is leading the way. Whether it's the rugged GMC Sierra pickup or the versatile GMC Acadia, Thornhill has a perfect GMC for you. Powerful, reliable, and comfortable truck. Then don't miss this opportunity to get the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can enjoy 0.9% APR financing plus 32.50 purchase allowance with an eligible trade. And that's not all. Take advantage of no monthly payments until 2024. Click or come by ThornhillGMSuperstore.com. We are professional grade. Get more on the Thornhill Motor Mile US 119 Chapmanville. With for all thirteen financial seat Thornhill. Hi, I'm Elise Smith, First Lady of Marshall University and founder of the Women Warrior Summit. We are so excited to welcome Nicole Kidman, Soledad O'Brien, and others to Huntington Friday, October 6th at the Mountain Health Arena to learn and grow from your powerful experiences as women. Thank you to our sponsors, Dutch Miller Auto Group, Merrill Lynch, Encova, Marathon, Fairmont Properties, Newcor Steel, Toyota, and many more who are helping to empower the women of Appalachia. For more information on the summit, please visit womenwarriorsummit.com. This is the Post Game Report on Cat Sports 93.3 at 1340. All right, back here at Putnam Stadium where the Tomcats win it here tonight. 48 to nothing. Coach Chad Tackett up here with us. His post game comments brought to you by Giovanni's of Ashland, the Italian place to be. Coach, we didn't get off to that fast start like we normally or have been doing, but we couldn't get our hands on the football. They were... Yeah, there they uh, keep away. Yeah, they they played the clock the clock game, and um, you know sometimes you know we've been in games like that before. I've done that before too, uh, many years ago. I don't remember ago. the last time we uh, we faced East that. Carter. Was it East okay. Carter? Um, uh, exactly. 2017. They had the yep. ball the whole first yep. quarter. Caleb's uh, Caleb's freshman year is 2017. You know, it's at, great at to East. have a young mind still. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. They can remember yeah. things. Too. Yeah. <laughs> We were but, um, that game, man. But, yeah, I mean, he took it down to six seconds and snapped yeah. it, you know, and it just, you know, in that type of offense, you know, it's three yards in a cloud of dust for the most part. So, you know, you got to get stops. And, and we did. I mean, you know, yeah, we, we did. We were 21 nothing at halftime. And, um, you know, but that's, you know, that's just trying to limit your possessions. And, you know, sometimes you got to play those type of games and, and you got to win them. And, and I was proud of the kids for uh, coming out and taking care of business. I was going to ask you, it seemed like Charlie and I talked, it seemed like it was we were a tad bit flat. But I think, as I think about it more, it was because we couldn't get our hands on the football and, and make yeah. the big plays, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we, I don't know, we were maybe a little flat, but, okay. uh, you know, I thought uh, I thought defensively we played pretty well. We, we gave up some plays um, that extended some drives there. But, um, you know, for the most part, you know, we, we drove the ball down the field and scored, and you know, and then we, we played defense and got some stops and, you know, just the clock just runs away from you, you know, in those types of games. And then I thought we did a really good job with a minute and a half to go, driving mm-hmm. down and, and putting one in right before your halftime. So Agreed. Uh, to go up 21 nothing, and, and, you know, that's something we hadn't had to do in a while, and we actually had, hadn't worked on it in practice much. So, um, you know, we had some guys that made some heady plays, Cam Davis and some other guys that, that knew had awareness to get out of bounds and um, stop the clock. So I was, I was proud of, the, you know, that drive. And, um, and then, of course, you know, fielding Jake, you know, behind me here, he filled it the onside kick. and. Mm-hmm. Um, to start the second half, but then we fumble. Yeah, we fumble. You know, so yeah. we end up going, we lose that possession, but, um, you know, we get the ball back and then we score again, and then, you know, we had a couple pick sixes there, so. Uh, came into the game with only one turnover, and you mentioned that we had two turnovers tonight. Yeah, very Davis frustrating. Davis fumble and uh, Thomas's fumble. Yeah, very frustrating. It is, okay. Yeah. But three fumbles through seven games, that's not bad, is yeah. it? Uh, it's three too many, but uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, you just got you got, you got to take care of the football, and you know we're uh, yeah, playing right. we, we're playing some you know the, the next three games we you know we can't afford to turn the ball over, That's and right. um, you know you just got to keep you know we'll keep working at it, and, um, and you know like I said, it's, it's just something that you know can't happen, and, and we got to make sure that we work it hard enough to make sure it doesn't happen. Coach, you had the ball a little over five minutes yeah. in the first half. Mm-hmm. Uh, you had. 16, 17, 18 offensive plays, and maybe there's a couple more than that. But um, 
I thought the offense was pretty impressive. I mean, they they, yeah. they moved the ball great. In yeah, the I mean, you know, to the average observer, it's going to be like, well, this game, you know, they weren't, you know, they didn't do this or it wasn't explosive. But, I mean, you know, I thought when we had the ball, we we did what we needed to do with it. We went up and down the field and scored. And, you know, it's just, it's just you know, when a team does that, it's not going to be a pretty game. And, you know, you're not going to see a, a, a bunch of points, you know, quick and early. And, um, you know, we, like I said, we still finished up 48 points on the board and, um, defense pitched their first shutout of the season, so you know I'm, I'm I'm proud of I'm proud of the team effort. Two interceptions for uh, touchdowns tonight. That doesn't happen very often. Not at all. No, we uh you know that, those were were two good uh, picks and two two big plays, and you know that that can help extend a game. And then you know eventually you, you hope that a team will will get out of the clock game once they get behind. But they they stayed with it. I mean they they were behind and they still ran it down to six six seconds. So right. Um, you know, I think he was just trying to keep it close and not let it be a you know a, a blowout too soon. And um, you know, so hats off to them. It's just you know that's that's smart coaching. But um, you know, those things, like I said, those things happen, and uh, you just play around it. Well, you know, coach, uh, a while back, and, and Dickie uh, laughs at me a lot for saying this, not in the sense that it's funny that he wasn't that good a player, but Fields Davis mm-hmm. was was a player that I thought just just exemplified Tomcat Tomcat tradition yeah. just the most out of what he could I think uh, I think Cam Davis is kind of that that ink I, I really am impressed with that kid he I, is. I, I he's, think he uh, is a, I think he's a footballer he's a playmaker he makes plays on both sides of the mm-hmm. ball he makes plays on special teams he's just he's just an athlete you know we've talked about him before he's just he's just a he's just a, a player he's an athlete you know he's like I said he's an athlete he's a football player he's a basketball player I mean he just He's one of those guys that knows how to play the game, and uh, you know we got a couple guys like that. But I mean, he you know he really stands out and, and does a good job with that. They only had like a little over 100 yards in total offense, and you were again pushing about 500. Uh, so, yeah, that and that's remarkable considering how how many you know touches we, we get the ball had. Yeah. So, um, but you know, I, I I thought the guys blocked well up front. I thought we came off the ball well. Um, you know the guys made made the most of their opportunities when they got the got the ball in their hands and um, you know defensively I, I thought our linebackers played extremely well um, Jake and, and Tay and then I thought uh, uh, Sawyer and, and you know Audie in the middle just did a you know a great job and D line played played much better this week um, absolutely you know, I thought they made some good plays and you know secondary made some plays when they had to um, Cam Cam and Mav came up made some good stops. Sam had a nice play over here, and then Mason Wolf had a great play on the hook, yes, and, yeah. hook and ladder. Sure did. Sure did. Um, you know, if he doesn't tackle that guy, it's probably a touchdown. So, um, you know, he comes in and gives us a little spark, and you know, he's got he's got some dog in him, and you know, he's mm-hmm. another year in the weight room. He's going to be a pretty good player. You know, it's fascinating. Your defense kept your offense off, uh, you know, off off the field mm-hmm. uh, in both halves. Uh, they were just, you know, with the Ray Round County was playing slowing the game or yeah. speeding the game up if you will um, 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 the offense uh, offense wasn't on and in the second half the defense scored yeah. and kept the offense off yeah, off the field so <laughs> yeah I mean that, you know it's, here's the thing I, I, you know Leon always said it doesn't matter if it's 3 nothing or 2 nothing or whatever you know win's a win right um, you know and, and Tony told me you know Coach Love told me when I got this job you know he said one it's, it's hard to win here um, it's not easy to win here, and, and two, you got to cherish every victory. And uh, you know we try to do that. I mean, you know, and, and he w- he was right. You know, this it, it is hard to win here, and um, you know sometimes you got to win ugly, and um, you got to take take it any way you can get it, and and we'll definitely continue to do that. They have like 50 plays, and we had like just over 30. So <laughs> their their philosophy was good. They yeah. just our defense was better. Yeah, yeah, and that's you know that's that's just you know you gotta you gotta get stops, you gotta get off the field, and um, you know like I said, I was proud of our D tonight. I thought we're starting to really mm-hmm. you know kind of put it together on that side of the ball, and hopefully you know eventually we'll we'll be up to par as uh, you know as our offense, and um, I think when that happens, we'll we'll be pretty good. It's hard for a defensive head coach to be upset with a shutout, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, oh, well, you know, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not upset. Um, you know, I, I, you know, there's always things for improvement, but, uh, you know, like I said, we got three, three really hard games ahead of us, and, um, you know, we got to continue to push forward and get better. Well, uh, after Jake Sexton s- struggled, I guess a little bit, he uh, comes through tonight. Perfect. Hmm. Perfect. Did a, did, a head, did a heck of a job. Kicking and tackling. And kicking and tackling. <laughs> and, and well, he's our player of the game coming up here in a minute, but. Charlie said on the air he 
<laughs> Here he recovers the onside kick, and he almost went for a touchdown. Yeah. I've never seen That's that before. They, Jake, Jake can run. I mean, Jake, you know, Jake, you know, if 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 he was healthy, he he could he could play offense too. And um, he's got he's got great wheels, and you know, he's just. He was a step. He was a step away from breaking. Yeah, yeah. You know, Jake Jake Sexton is the ultimate tomcat. I mean, he is. Is he? He just is. He 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 buys into everything we do. He's he's never missed a workout. He does everything we ask him to do. You never have any trouble out of him. He's a great student. Just he he's what you want your son to grow up and be like. And you know that's why well, I'm so huge proud. Huge compliment. Of him. Well, next week you go out to you, we hit the road again. We got to go to Boyd County, who smothered Green up tonight, forty-eight fourteen. So. Uh, they'll be ready, and they'll play yeah. their best football they played all year. We'll be ready, too. I, I figured you would be. <laughs> yeah, we'll be ready, too. Good job, Coach. All right. All right. Our uh, postgame comments from Coach Chad Tackett brought to you by Giovanni Zavaslin, the Italian place to be. And now we'll have our Tomcat player of the game brought to you by Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank. we got a young man here, Jake Sexton. Good job tonight. Thanks, we got we got to talk about this uh <laughs> this onside kick here that you almost went for a touchdown. What were you, what were you thinking, going all the way or what? Well, it was uh, it was definitely unexpected for sure. <laughs> but uh, I just seen that open hole, and I was like, instead of going down, I tried to get some yards out of it. And as you well, can you see, did. it worked a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You almost broke that. Yeah, it was it was Char- close. But. Charlie and I were talking. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> and I've been doing this a long well, time. Usually you just try to cover. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But you picked it up where you were going. Yeah, I was, I was waiting for the ball to kind of, you know, pop out and because on those onsides you never know where they're going to go sure. so i was just waiting and waiting and waiting and i seen that hole so i decided to take it <laughs> go for it <laughs> yes sir all right six of six in the kicking game you yes, got, sir. it's no secret you you missed four or five oh, this yeah. year and, but yeah you come in tonight why why did you go perfect tonight and are you doing something different or, or what yep. is it uh, well my steps was off on the uh the ones i missed from the previous games and uh and brandon's brandon's holds have been a whole lot better uh mm-hmm. i've always been great but um, the speed, the speed of the ball, and uh, just the whole combination of the extra point has just escalated since last week, for sure. Defensively, I know how much you love to play defensively. Yeah. You made a couple of big tackles mm-hmm. down here too. And uh, you, do you is that something that coach calls, or are you blitzing, or whatever? You, I don't know what, well, what do yeah. you call that. We have a uh, our, our spill defense is what spill. We're, yeah, we're spilling. We're always spilling the ball to the outside, and. Uh, I'm kind of always denting in and popping the ball to the outside. So, uh, you did it great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He did great. And you got to do that next week. Yes, sir. Are you taught, because you're an outside linebacker. Yes, sir. Basically, you got to turn that play in, right? And mm-hmm. wait for help. Yep, yep. They just want to slow the play up and then get as many bodies to the ball as we can. We did that well tonight. Yeah, sure did. And two, two, two uh, defensive touchdowns for, for Ashland tonight. That, yes, sir. As, as, coaches that that just doesn't happen uh yeah we have some real athletes in the on the defensive on defense and offense both we just got athletes all over the field and felt they did a great job tonight you know back to extra points you know so many times as spectators were sitting here thinking you know you know what can be difficult about that but you brought up several things about it you know and the snap's got to be right the hold's got to be right your steps have got to be right your angle's got to be right oh, yeah you know, there's yeah. a lot of hard work in that and mm-hmm. you know maybe it takes six seven games to get you to a point where it where it doesn't become automatic but it almost com- becomes automatic mm-hmm. you know and i guess you're kind of getting there yeah yeah for sure it's uh it's definitely difficult but um with practice and repetition it kind of just all falls together nicely it's just not something you walk out and do. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Now, I, I, I can't remember. Was it you or Keener that made the, made the kickoff that went into the end zone? Was that was Keener. That, that was Keener. Keener. Yes, okay. sir. Yeah. Now, when you kick off, can you kick it into the end zone or come close? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. It just depends. <laughs> if you get a good, good lick on it, right? Yeah, it just depends on the foot placement on the ball is really okay. all it is. Well, you're 7-0. Oh. Yes, well, sir. This is nice, isn't it? Yes, sir. It's 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 amazing. It's a chance to go eight, no? Exactly. And you got two more tough district games out at Boyd and down to Johnson Central. But two teams. Yep. We can win. We can win. Yes, sir. Hundred percent. And that's that's the name of the game. You win the district, and you get a couple of home playoff games, and after that, you never know. Yep. You just never know, right? Yep. We just gotta uh, keep continuing being a we not me program. 
that's what we've started since day one, ever since uh, Coach Tackett came in. Uh-huh. We, not me. It's just always about everybody else, not yourself. We, not me. Yes, sir. Okay, I like that's that. That's a great way to go. Yes, it is. Jake Sexton, thank you, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Good job. Thank you. All right. Jake Sexton, our Tomcat player of the game, brought to you by Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank. And, of course, Coach Chad Tackett's uh, post-game comments presided by Giovanni Ashland, the Italian place to be. That'll do it from here. Next week we head out to Lions Stadium out at uh, Boyd County to take on the Lions, who are winners tonight. Let me catch up on some quick scores. Boyd County 48, Greenup County 14. Uh, Corbin is pounding, and they beat Johnson Central 34 to 6. Ironton over Rock Hill 42 to nothing. East Carter over Bath 41 to 8. Raceland uh, hammers Hazard 43 nothing. Russell 14, West Carter 9. Fairview loses to Nicholas County 60 to 20. Huntington High 77, Riverside 0. So that'll do it. Thank you, Aiden, for spinning the dials back at the station and. Uh, Charlie being alongside, we'll see you next week at uh, Boyd County as the Tomcats take on the Lions and uh, try and keep this unbeaten string alive. They're 7-0 and and 2-0 and in the district. That'll do it from here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340.